Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, give me one second. Where did all of you come from? Oh my goodness. Why is my model going up and down? Hello, model. Microphone device. Okay, now, there we go. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. I have no idea where all of you have come from, but hello. Uh, welcome to my stream. I'm Mako Machina, a robot, and we're just playing some Pokemon. So, uh, hello, everybody. I'm not sure... Is this, uh, boss sent us to the wrong Mako? Uh, where are you guys coming from? You guys say Lemon Raid. Uh, who... Who... What streamer were you guys originally from? I need to see... Uh, I need to check them out. Mia Suzume. From Prism Project? Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Wait, I've heard that name before. Mia Susan... Uh, Suzune. Holy moly. Wow, holy crackers. Oh yeah, hello. Welcome to this. I assume most of you are going to go to the Mako that was meant to be uh, rated into, but for those of you who do want to stay, uh, yeah, we're we playing some Pokemans. And you guys are all probably wondering why I have the little makeout with Lacey here from Pokemon. That, that's because we're going to go fight her with my very crappy team. Not this team. We were just capturing Pokemon. So, let's see. We've got... What do we want to fight? Let's see. So we've got Yowie Hands. We'll probably get Yowie Hands up in here. And let's see. So Lacey is a Fairy type, so we'll need Poison and Steel type. So I guess Ghirardelli, because it's Poison. I don't think I have any Steel type moves. Oh, wait, I need Teflon. Where, where is she? There she is. Got Teflon. Then we got Rock Candy. And let's see. I guess we can go with Scallion as well. And then maybe... Uh, I don't know what I want. Let's see. Seasig? Yeah, let's go Seasig. Oh man, I could go for some Seasig right now. Oh, you've got the ultimate. Oh, hey, how's it going, CT1? Is my team all good for this um, battle here? Also, uh, let me know if the audio is okay. Whoops. Then you know what? I'll keep I'll keep the now playing. Yeah, we're definitely playing Power World 3 Revengeance. Uh, I brought this game from eight years into the future. Audio seems fine. Cool, cool. Uh, we got sent here, so gotta see what's up for a bit, of course. All right, for sure. I am just glad you guys weren't raiding into me when I'm doing Elden Ring, because uh, I do not have a good history with Elden Ring. I have played every single Souls game except for Demon Souls, but Elden Ring is just a game that I cannot get into, and every time I play, I get so cranky and I want to die. Uh, so yeah, CT1, what is your... What is your great wisdom? Uh, what kind of item do you want me to, uh, do whatever? Uh, Seasig isn't the best pick, but I have the solution. What is the solution? So we're gonna swap out... Whoops, not this one. I'm going to swap out... Oh wait, before we get super into the stream, uh, everybody hydration check and shrimp check. Gotta get that good old H2O. Let me give you that. Some of that ASMR. Okay, almost choked on my water then. Sounds fun for watching though. It's not really fun. I'm so dead on the inside whenever I play Elden Ring. Because Elden Ring, because I'm so used to playing Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls 1 specifically. Oh, uh, wait. Can you trade real quick? All right. We'll do... Uh, how do we trade again? Is it link trade? 
Oh, I need to go online first. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to Elden Ring, I am very much... Uh, I like to throw myself at the wall until uh, I beat the enemy, but that's clearly not how you're supposed to play Elden Ring. You're supposed to go around and collect stuff, but I'm just like... I'm also so used to playing Mega Man, so it's the same thing of just throwing your head against the wall until you finally break through. So and just, that's just not how Elden Ring is. But yeah. Falling hydration check with shrimp check implies we're supposed to shrimp up instead of straight enough. Hydrate, return to the ocean. Yeah, we need, just need to dump ourselves into the water. Oh my gosh, I was at the beach earlier uh, last week. It was so much fun. I brought my dune cup and I was pretending to be a Fremen. And I had a shovel and I was like, ooh, I'm going to pretend I'm like a... Like, I'm going to uh, hop on top of a sandworm and stuff. So that was really fun. But yeah, also went to an arcade. And I'm not sure if you've seen my picture on Twitter, but I posted on my Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash uh, Makina, and also Blue Sky, uh, makomakina.bluesky.social. Uh, and I saw, I went to an arcade and I saw a freaking Smash Mother, or Smash Brothers Melee cabinet, which I've never seen before. I don't know, what, what do we want to set the link code? Uh, C T one, uh, we'll just do one, 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 two. There we go. Uh, C T one, just, uh, let me know when you're ready to trade for the Pokemans. But yeah. Uh... Is this you? Is this you, CT1? Ready? Okay. What should I trade you? Should I trade you with something fun? Like a... Oh, why is this guy... Uh, glowy? S strange. But yeah, I saw a melee cabinet. I was like, whoa, that is super cool. I really want a melee cabinet. Or, no, I I want... What I've always wanted was a Scott Pilgrim versus the World cabinet. Let's see, I'll give you a Bergmite. Yo, what's up, Red Toad? How's it going? What in the world? A shiny Empoleon? Oh, uh, my goodness. You did not need to give me a shiny Empoleon. Ooh, hey yo, how's it going? Remoted 12. Oh my gosh. Uh, so many new people. Crazy. Oh yeah, so to all my regulars who are now in stream, uh, it is... You might notice that there's a lot of people on the YouTube side. Uh, not so much on the Twitch side. Also, for those of you who just came in from the YouTube raid, uh, I also stream multi-stream on Twitch, so if you want to go over there, you can go hit me up. But yeah, we were raided by Nia Suzune from, uh, what was her... I forget what... What, which one call it? Uh, thingy she's from, the agency. But yeah, she's cool. I'll have to check her out. I Prism Project, that's the one. I actually don't know if I know any other VTubers from Prism Project. Because mainly, uh, when it comes to my history with VTubers, I was very much into the first of all VTubing, so I was really into He's in the Eye, I was really into Kaguya Luna, let's see, very much into Project Melody, and yeah, I didn't really get into Hololive until I saw... Uh, Ina, and Gura, and yeah. So, and then let's see, I was into uh, Niji Sanji, and then that happened. So, suffice to say, no longer into them. And yeah, now I'm getting into Phase Connect, so Shina Amanagawa is one of my Oshis, and I'm so sad because I didn't realize that she was going to stream today. Because she's streaming herself building some nanoblock Ultraman stuff because she's really been into Ultraman lately. And I'm sad that I won't get to see. 
haagen is a counter to Primarina? Gotcha. So I'll put haagen -Dazs. Uh, Let's put him up next to Ghirardelli. Let's go fly over to Lacey so we can furiously make out with her. I mean, fight her. Yeah, I can watch the VOD later. I know, I know. But yeah, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we've just been making out with literally everybody in this game because we are in lesbians with all the women in this game. Jeez, and you got haagen level 100. Good lord. Lip fighter Mako, cutie kisser. Dang right I am. Oh wait, I've already activated the thing, so I just need to go over there. All right, so let's save the game. And I think let's just go into the fight. What's up, Mako? Are you ready to battle me now? Oh, heck yes. Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Commencing missionary. So let's get into the battle. Hopefully she doesn't destroy me super fast. I'm Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect to get, uh, oh wait, I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Mako. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't get my personal feelings in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokémon. There's nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? Yeah, I'm staring at one right now. They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know this already, right, Mako? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to make sure you walk away with a proper understanding, after all. God, I love this girl's eyebrows. You're about to learn that cuteness is a real strength. Oh boy. Get her personal feelings in the battle, seduce her. Oh, I will try. And also, she's the last member of the Barbecue League that we have to beat. So, I think it's just her, and then don't we fight... We fight Kieran, and I think that'll be it for the DLC. I think? I don't know. Everyone seems to like that new Missing Link Optimus Prime, but I want to know if it's worth it before buying. As somebody with... The uh, Missing Link Optimus Prime. I think it's really cool. Oh yeah, by the way, everybody who's new in the stream, I'm really into... As you can tell, I'm a robot, so of course I'm into Gundams and Transformers, so... If you like that, stay along for the streams and the channel. Because I do have some Gundam models and Transformers to show on stream. Maybe not right now, but... Just know that it, it is something that I enjoy. Hey, what's up, Hajizilla? How's it going? Uh, okay, so let's see. Heavy Slam. Oh, wait, we tried to Heavy Slam Whimsicott last time. Oh, yeah, and Common Rider. We are very much into Tokusatsu in here. So I just got my Gotcha Driver the other day, and I need to watch the rest of Common Rider Gotchard. I guess we'll just go with Whimsicott. Flash Cannon Granbull. And yeah, so if you guys are into. Anything Tokusatsu, i.e. Super Sentai, Ultraman, Godzilla, and Kamen Rider, as well as Transformers and Gundam, this is the right channel for you. Oh, and Beyblades. I've been getting into Beyblades recently. I just bought a bunch of Beyblade X stuff. Wait until you see the power. I'm winning. Yeah, we win. Heck yeah. And also, I haven't played Pokemon since the last time I streamed, so it's been around a week. Oh, so, yeah. Let's see. Oh, should I go Thunder Punch on Primarina? Let's go Thunder Punch and then Grass Knot on Primarina, right? Let's see. Use your Snare's target with Grass and trips it. Heavier the target, the greater the move's power. Grass on Primarina. Gotcha. All right, let's knock this thing out. Okay, okay. We finally got UFO X and X uh, Assemble Chemi card. Nice. 
I'm just waiting until the final form of Gotchard comes out. But that toy probably won't come out until June, uh, when episode 32 or 34, because usually when Kamen Rider shows have the final form, that's usually episode 35 or 32 to 36. The missing link Optimus is over $200 here? Like, I don't know, man. Okay, that's right, because you're in Australia. Mm, in that case, I'm not sure. Uh, we need to go Flygon for the Slowbro. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, let's go Rattle. Flash Cannon, Whimsicott. But yeah, uh, for me, I bought mine via Hobby Link Japan, so, and I bought the toy version, the toy accurate deco, so it has the, the trailer cab on it, so that was probably $110 for me, so at $110 USD, I think that's pretty good, but if it's $200 AUD, I'm not sure if I would purchase it then. That seems a little bit much. Uh, the recent form of Dodger is basically like Final Form, but it's his Ultra Form thing. Okay, so it's the penultimate form. Alright, uh, let's see. She's got three more Pokemon left. I think I could just keep haagen out. I think I will Terrastalize haagen And then... Let's see. Should we do Earthquake? For all of these guys? Or should we go uh, CT1? Do you think haagen is able to take the, whatchamacallit, whatchamahoosit? Uh, earthquake and switch Hagen out. Okay, so Earthquake, gotcha. Let's switch out haagen for, uh, I don't know who should we swap, would it, could we swap with Ghirardelli? Because there's the resistance. Or I guess it wouldn't be resistance. Oh wait, uh, Yaoi Hands. Yaoi Hands has a lot of defense. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, quick draw. Still not fast enough for me. The Yaoi Hands, you could do this. Oh no. Didn't this happen last time, CT1? I think this happened last time. Well, time to get haagen out. Scallion, you will be missed. Okay, let's just bring out him once again. I forgot we had a Terra Flag on. Let's go Terrastalize. Flash Cannon. Low bro. And then let's just double down. Uh, no, actually I'll just do Heavy Slam on Alchemy, because Alchemy is a pretty light Pokemon. Oh, it's not looking good, fellas. I say as we only have one fainted Pokemon. Is this gonna do anything? Okay. Guess we should have doubled down. Boring voice. What is this? Oh, it's just a regular special attack. Wait, oh, Mako, you saw ADA came to Guilty Gear? Oh, ABBA. Yes. ABBA came to Guilty Gear. I was not expecting ABBA to come into this game. Because we haven't seen her since Guilty Gear. Uh, double X? Uh, yeah. I mean, does that mean all of the DLC characters have now been added for Season Pass 2? I hope we get Season Pass 3 eventually. So, that's not Heavy Slam. Yeah, I hope we get... Uh, whatchamacallit, a season pass three, so I can get my hands on Jam, and I've been, everybody's been wanting Zappa to be in the game ever since Guilty Gear 
Exard. So I know it would be crazy for Arc System Works to design Zappa, but gosh, I really want Zappa. That would be so crazy to see in 3D. Okay, they're both almost down. Oh, you slow bro. Ding. Ding berry. Ding citrus berry. Oh, no. Oh. That's not good. Uh. Rock candy. Yo, how's it going, Razor Sketch? Alright, so let's do Flash Cannon, Excadrill, and then Bullet Punch, Excadrill. Oh yeah, it's fairy type now. I just realized. I totally forgot that it terastalized into fairy type. No, Hagen does. Oh, you're enjoying your day off. Okay, no wonder you're here so early. I was just gonna say you're usually still at work at this time. Oh no. Okay, uh, Ghirardelli, come on out. Okay, so let's do Sludge Wave. Ooh, on everybody. And then... Yeah, let's just destroy Excadrill first. Hooray! Goodness, how have you been? I've been doing very good. I mean, we had to start the stream a little bit early because we were raided. Uh, by another VTuber. So, yeah, it's been crazy. It's been a pretty zing stream. And today has been... I've just been chilling out today. Nothing crazy. Uh, so let me... Oh, wait. I need to battle, not switch out Pokemon. Earthquake? Well, it's gonna destroy Teflon. How about... Oh, we can do... Yeah, let's do an X attack. And we'll give it to Teflon. Then, we'll do Gigaton Hammer. Oh wait, Knock Off. Right? Why is it saying super effective? I guess we'll do Gigaton Hammer on Slowbro. And yeah, we were raided by... Uh, was her name Mia Suzume? Or is that what her name was? I need to go uh, look that. Yeah, Mia Suzume of Prism Project. That's who we were rated by. Yeah, my numbers are gonna look pretty crazy uh, on my analytics. Oh yeah, there's something I totally forgot to mention that I was supposed to mention at the very beginning of the stream. Also, we beat Lacey, so time for us to furiously make out with her. Uh, but yeah, I totally forgot to mention that... Ooh, I think I need to bring up the thingy. Or whatever. I, I'll bring up the, the advertisement later. But uh, next week, I won't be able to stream because I will be at SakuraCon. Uh, at the Artist Alley. So I will be... Well, not me specifically. I'm just helping out a friend. We are going to be at... Uh, this is for the artist Geomanges on Twitter and Blue Sky and Instagram and Facebook and literally everywhere. So yeah, we'll be at SakuraCon at table 2... Or no, 3822. And I've got some stickers that you can buy. And yeah, it'll be really nice. So I'll bring up the map and the little advertisement thingy uh, a little bit later, but just wanted to announce it here. Yeah. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Alright. Mako, Mako, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. 
You're the cutest, Lacey. This is nope wrong. We're not talking about Pokemon, or we're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Mako. Man, I was just denied. Ew. You know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up some cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Oh yeah. My girlfriend. Yeah, I've been friend-zoned, Sag. And it, I keep forgetting how much taller she is. That's hot as fuck. Ooh, this one's just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a backup copy or three. Or three? I'll give you this as well, as proof of your cuteness. Ooh, alluring voice. Is that fitting? I don't think I have an alluring voice. You really are very strong when, he, when you get serious in battle, Mako. I wonder how far you'll be able to get, facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. You should have printed them out in waterproof paper. Oh my gosh. So long as she doesn't put the picture in a jar... Yo, yo, yo! Champ in the making! Guess you're almost a champ in the maid. Guess the Barbecue League Elite Four, or that's the Barbecue League Elite Four all beaten. You've schooled every elite one of us. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard because it ain't, uh, uh, you work so hard at it. Because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone uh, everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole barbecue league. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all elite four of us. So you and only you, have the right to challenge the sitting Barbecue League champion, Kieran. Oh, speak of the devil. You really kept me waiting. It took you a whole while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. You've really got Mako on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Mako out. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Mako. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two, once and for all. Okay, I'm kind of scared of her, uh, his team. I don't know. I totally forgot what he likes. Or, like, what he's into when it comes to Pokemon typing. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. I'll have to go sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Alright. Where do we head off to? We head off to the center stage. Right? Or is it over here? Like, not in the center here, but more so. Yeah, over here. Oh wait, let's go heal up our Pokemans. Boone has a mixed team. His Hydrapple is Terra fighting. Gotcha. Oh wait, shouldn't we have Ogre Pawn on the team in order to get some alternate dialogue? Fellow humans, bro is an alien. Man's got hair like an alien. Alright, so let's get... Ogre Pawn on the team. We'll keep Hagen Dazs and Yowie Hands, of course. Get our. Where is our Ogre Pawn? There he is. There she is. Uh, let's see. I think we'll keep Rock Candy, Scallion. Maybe we'll swap out Ghirardelli with. Who could we swap Ghirardelli with? Uh, put Ogre Pawn on the team just to spite. Put Ogre Pawn at the very front. 
guess despite. And I guess curry pan. I think we're good with this team. I mean, we'll save just in case. Just in case we have to save scum. As per use. All right, now let's head out. Oops, no, that is, no. There, remove destination and fly here. There we go. Wait, now is the best time to put Ice Beam on haagen -Dazs? Oh wait, do I, uh, how do I get Ice Beam onto haagen -Dazs? Is it just remembering a move? Or is it a TM? It's a TM. Uh, do I have Ice Beam? Uh, let's go sort by name. I don't think I have Ice Beam. Nope, I don't have Ice Beam. Let's go and make one. Would it be... Right, do I go here or... But I need to go somewhere else to make the TM. We'll just go somewhere random. All right, let's get which Mahu's it. Hopefully, I have enough Pokemon items in order to create this thing. Oh yeah, that new Princess Peach game is out. Oh yeah, Princess Peach Showtime. I. I have not seen any gameplay of it, so I have no idea what to expect from the game. So that's why I'm not really as interested. I mean, I loved Super Princess Peach when I was younger. So... Who knows? I'll probably end up getting it sooner or later. I see wind... Avalanche... No escape... Nice punch! 69, nice. And let's see, what else? Where is it? Ice Spinner? It's made by the Mystical Ninja 64 dev? Ooh, I've seen gameplay of Mystical Ninja, and that looks fun. Wait, Cryogonal, Ice, and Mystery Item. Uh, can you guys check out what I need uh, for Ice Beam? I just don't know what the middle Pokemon is, but we can go get some uh, Cryogonal parts. Which I know Cryogonal is in this part. I think it's up over here by the Glacido Gym. Uh, Shelder Pearls. Okay. I don't know where Shelders are. But let's see. I think we can just guess that they'll be near the beach. Actually, does the Pokedex tell you where Pokemon are? Because I'm pretty sure I have... I at least have them registered in my Pokedex. Or not registered, but have seen. Let's go A to Z. Oh, do I really not have shelter around? Okay, now I guess we'll just go over to Cryogonal then. Um, it's too slow. Oh, hey Mako, have you heard about the Tokusatsu toothbrush mascot from a Japanese dental company? They're called Dentman on Twitter. I have seen Dentman, and I follow them. I love their tweets. There's Cloister. Habitat. Okay. North and Northwest. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, I've seen them on uh, Twitter. And I really like their stuff. I really like their design. I really want to get, like, merchandise of Dentman. I'd like to get, like, an acrylic standee. What is... Oh, that's where the cryogonals are. Let me capture... Wait, you're right here. Wait, let's go... 
Got Curry Pond to the forefront. But yeah, Dent Man is really cool. Let's do the flamethrower. I found out about him, the candy villain and the medicine mascot over the past week. I'm loving it. Japan is so good when it comes to mascot designs. Dragon uh, Ice. Oh geez, snow over. Yeah, Japan just hits different when it comes to mascots. Let's see, what's a good mascot that they have? They have, I guess their most famous mascot is a Chitan, who is a sea otter. And they're, I remember they were very popular pre-pandemic on Twitter because of all the zany videos that they would make. And I think I'm starting to get ads on Twitter of them because they're now promoted for whatever reason. So there's that. Let's see, what other mascots? There's a there's a very scary looking bear mascot. Uh I forget what its name is, but it's like a cross between a bear and a watermelon. But it looks really freaky. So that one I really like. Let's see, there's also that there was a one viral video about a drummer. Like, there's a metal band, or there's some sort of Japanese band that's every member is in a mascot costume, and there's the drummer that's just going absolutely ham on the drums. Uh, that's a classic, classic YouTube video. I say classic, but it was probably like a 2013, 2016 video, which I guess is classic to some people. Is can you believe, speaking of classic things to some people. Can you believe that the Wii is now considered a retro console? Jeez, I know I'm I'm a thousand something year old robot, but geez, that makes me feel mega old. You got shelters and cloisters around here. I don't want to uh, recognize it as retro. Yeah, same. For me, when it comes to retro consoles, the only thing that I consider retro is like the NES and Super Nintendo. Though those are retro to me. Or something like the Amiga and the ColecoVision. Oh, there's a shelter. And the Commodore. I have one of those crappy redesign Wii's. Wait, do you have the Wii Mini? Because I've always wanted a Wii Mini. I've always wanted it so I can mod it myself. Oh, also, did you hear about Miraidon being turned into a real bike? Yes, I did see that. Miraidon, there's now an official, like, real Miraidon bike made by Toyota. I want to see that in action, because I've only ever seen just the pictures of it in the shop. Oh, I want to see how effective it is and all that. You can mod the Wii Mini? Shit, I gotta try that. Yeah, so the Wii Mini is like very famous, or it's like, not famous, but it's like very popular to mod. Because the chip, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Wii Mini was, I think it released in 2011, 2010. And basically it was a Wii but it didn't have an SD card slot. It didn't have Game Boy, or sorry, GameCube uh, compatibility, and it didn't have Wi-Fi. However, if you open up the Wii Mini, you can actually see on the PCB, there is a spot for a Wi-Fi connector. So there is, it was meant to have Wi-Fi capabilities. It just decided, Nintendo decided not to do it. So that's why modding it to have a Wi-Fi adapter is very easy. It's just literally plug and play. So there's that, and then the SD card adapter is very easy to put in. It just requires a little bit of filing into the plastic. But yeah, that's why I want it. I just want it to be my dedicated homebrew console. Let's see. Go by name. Please, I have not done this much talking in such a long time. One copy of Ice Beam, please. Go. You 
use that. Whoops. There's ice beam. There it is. All right, uh, CT1, what does ice beam replace? I think the Wii Mini is stupid. Don't worry, everybody thought, like, the Wii Mini, if you don't do any mods, it is the worst console ever. Well, I mean, besides the Ouya. And the Virtual Boy. But yeah, if you mod the Wii Mini, it's still pretty good. Like, modding it is the only... Like, if you have a Wii Mini, uh, if you have it, you should mod it. Because as... On its own, it's kind of like, it's kind of worthless. Just get a Wii. Oh yeah, and the CDI, that's true. Bro. They need to bring back uh, the CDI. They need a, we need an HD remake of Gamelon, or the, uh, what is the Zelda's Quest, or Zelda's Adventure, and Link something, something for the CDI. Oh yeah, wait, I need to go save the game. Wait, and I need to have Ogre Pond at the very beginning. Let's go to bag. Any items? Oh wait, no, we need to sort by type. Yeah, we don't have anything to level up Ogre Pond, so Ogre Pond is, this, is essentially gonna get knocked out. Wait, they did that? A game dev named Doppley made a CDI Zelda remake. Oh my gosh, I need to play that. Alright, now let's get back into the game. Hey, Omako. Ready to sign up for your official match? You're Mako, yes? Let me get your championship match set up. This will take just a moment. So, Mako, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? Huh, no kidding. Here's the Dracer take. I liked Kieran better when his hair was down. I mean, so did I. He used to be this quiet little guy. Just a little guy. Uh, trembled like a leaf. Had all the spine of a wimp would. He'd hide behind Carmen if you so much as breathed too loud. But I tell you what. But I tell you what. When it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as, it, as in his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless. Pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing's good, uh, Nothing good's come out of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Guess I could've... Uh, guess I've gone soft from the lazy life. So now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran, the Barbecue League champion? Uh, I think? Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Mako. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you, uh, cheering for you. Oh boy, the last battle. Uh, oh wait, uh, Doppley has also made a new game called Arzette, the Jewel of Faramore, which takes inspiration from the CDI Zelda games. I will have to take a look at that. This is an official Barbecue League announcement. A champion match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance of the academy. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. Oh boy. Oh, and there's our boy. That looks really fun in a quirky way. Yeah, I'll have to see what it's like. Because I love those old Zelda games. Because I grew up on YouTube poops. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Mako. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. 
I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All that hard work. All of it. All of it was that, uh, was just so I could beat you. Right here, right now. Yeah, he's very, uh, very chuny. Very much Ed. All right. Oh, he's got some tough Pokemon. Let's see. So Politoed. Okay, we can use Ice Beam on Dragonair or Dragonite. So got some nerve bringing out the ogre now of all times. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like the music. Uh, it sounds very Undertale. Okay, so let's do Ivy Crudgel and Ice Beam. Ooh, yes, there we go. Mac, wowzers. Doesn't matter if the type matchups work out for you, though. I'll still win. Sure thing, whatever you say, bud. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we essentially threw when we brought in Ogre Pond. How do you like that? See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you battled in Kitakami, huh? Wow. Nine damage? Pathetic. Okay. Let's see. Should we bring out Yaoi Hands? Or rock candy. Because it's too dangerous with Scallion and Curry Pond. It can be one or the other. Uh, what what do we vote for? Who should we bring out? By the way, this is Yaoi Hands' moveset. And Rock Candy's moveset. Rock Candy is the safest bet. Copy that. Alright, so let's do... I guess we don't need to go too hard on... I guess we can go Zen Headbond Dragonite and then... I guess we can try Flash Cannon on Politoed. Use Thunder Punch on Dragonite, maybe. Oh wait, that was for Yaoi Hands. Uh, let's see, what can we do? So Politoed is Psychic type, right? Water Psychic. So yeah, we'll definitely have to use Zen Headbutt on Dragonite. Then... Let's see, Flash Cannon. Yeah, there's Light. Yeah, I guess Flash Cannon on Politoed. Because we also get stabbed for that move, and it's not very effective. As you can tell, I don't know my Pokemon types. Hashtag fake, fake fan. Oh god. Oh no. And I'm frickin' okay. And we're out of full restores. What do you mean, avoided the attack? You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, let's... That didn't happen, everybody. That did not happen at all. All right, let's do it correct this time. Oh wait, Politoed is just water? I thought it was water psychic. I'm mixing it up with Slow King. That's weird. Why isn't it? Why is Politoed just water type? That's really weird. Wait, am I stuck? Uh. Uh, let me just get into the battle. Strange. I almost feel like there's another alternate timeline here. 
Oh yeah, totally. We're just... Uh, we're like time travelers, dude. Or we're going into the multiverse. The Mako-verse. Ragnar has the Wackenberry, so Electro-type moves are halved. Okay. Good thing we're not using Electro-type moves. That's yeah, a good thing I didn't bring out Yaoi hands then. Let me take this time to sippy sippy on some water. And yes, I have to slurp into the mic every time I do that. It's mandatory. Let's go. I don't need to see your edginess, Kieran. Why don't you go back to where you belong, aka a hot topic. Actually, hot topic isn't that edgy anymore. Hot topic is more like... Man, I went to a hot topic recently, and they had frickin' an entire section for Studio Ghibli and... Uh... What other cutesy stuff? Oh, they had a bluey section that I really liked. And yeah. No longer Edge. And ain't that sad. These truly are changing times. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Do, uh, do robots need water? Yeah, it's for coolant. Because my CPU run, runs a little hot uh, every time more than one brain cell gets activated. I need to constantly drink water. I don't know, I know a lot of edgy people who won't shut up about Bluey. Bluey is so good, though. I've never heard of edgy people talking about Bluey, but Bluey is a goaded show. I love Bluey. I know how to play the theme on piano. <laughs> and for a time, I had a Bluey stuffed animal on my bed. Alright, so let's do rock candy. And we will double up on Politoed. Or no, let's get Dragonite out of here. No. We are one for one. Hmm. Okay, Porygon is that. Go another Zen headbutt, and then I guess we should be swapping out. Wait, Porygon is that just normal type? Bullet Punch, Politoed, and Strongest Move on Porygon. Okay. Gotcha. Bullet Punch, and Strongest Move, which honestly would be either... I guess we'll choose Ice Beam for Porygon. Oh yeah, because Bullet Punch always goes first. I totally forgot about that. Goodbye, Rock Candy. We're two for two. Let's see how much Ice Beam does. Ooh, okay. Significant amount. Okay, I'm gonna assume... Let's see. What else does this man have? 
This edgy boy. This little creature. Let's see. Mm, I guess we'll get... Now is Yaoi time. Oh, every time is Yaoi time. Every time I open up Twitter and I see freaking uh, Venti from Genshin Impact be shipped with like everybody. Or no, that's uh, Aether. So let's do... I know Yaoi Hands is going to get hit. Uh, so let's do a... Well, Seismic Toss. Yeah, let's do a Seismic Toss on Porygon. And then let's do... Did we risk a Hydro Pump on Incineroar? Yeah, we're ballsy. We're on stream. I can risk something crazy. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, Hydro Pump is worth it in the rain. Oh my goodness. Hydro Pump. Yes, and it hit. Oh, baby. Let's go. Alright, so now we have Scallion and Curry Pond next. Let's see. I think we can go with Scallion. I think that'll be the best bet. Because I don't know what other moves... Well, I'm a Hydrapple. Oh, hi, uh, Curry next with the Grimmer Snarl. Gotcha. Grim Snarl. Okay, then it's Hydrapple. So let's do Torch Song or Shadow Ball against Grim Snarl. Because I actually don't know the typing of Grim Snarl besides. Wait, isn't it Dark? Dark Fairy? So would Shadow Ball do anything against it? Or is Dark super effective against Ghost type? I never remember. And I feel like I really do need a... Oh, he is a Dark Fairy type, yeah? No, Shadow is not good. Torch Song to set up. Rimsnarl. And then we'll just use... I guess we'll just hit Flash Cannon onto Porygon Z. Oh, strong against physical moves. Okay. I think we're good. Boom. Okay, Flash Cannon Grim Snarl. Okay. Well, I should have waited a, a little bit longer. Gary is weak to steal. Okay. Well, I know that for the next attack. Just go down already! How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Ooh, Hydrapple, one of my favorite Pokémon. Okay, so... Let's go with a good old... Well, it's gonna... Terastalize. So, I guess we'll go... Shadow Ball. Or, I'm not sure. Terastalize Curry Pond or Terastalize Hagen does. I think with what we have, I think Curry Pond is better to Terastalize. So, okay, I'm gonna wait. For you, Annie the Pony fan, and you, CT1, to just tell me what to do. What is the good thing to do here? Yeah, he changes his Hydrap one to Fighting type, so wouldn't terrestrializing Curry Pond and then using Shadow Ball on it, would that be the correct course of action? That sounds like the correct course of action. And then that would leave Hagen Dazs to use Flash Cannon onto Grim Snarl. Hmm. Oh, you want to... Did you want yours? Oh, that would not... Okay. Parrot on Torch Song. Uh, would we try... 
Ghost is immune to fighting? Fighting is immune to ghost? I don't know what you guys are saying anymore. You guys are very much confusing me. Oh, terrestrializing it would only boost fire. Gotcha. Okay. So we've got Torch Song ready. Should we hit Hydrapple or should we hit Grimmsnarl? Because I know we have to hit Grimmsnarl with hagen Flash Cannon. Who we go for? Hey, Mako and Chad, did I miss OMG? I'm just in time. Uh, did you take Ogre Pond into the fight? I did take Ogre Pond, Ogre Pond into the fight, Ignis. This is also immune. Torch Hydrapple, Flash on Grim. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we got that extra bit of dialogue, uh, Ignis the Red. Although I probably should have taken a screenshot of it. Oh boy. Oh wait, I think I missed uh, a person who subbed. Uh, thank you, uh, Therotheris2, for the sub on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. I'm not sure how long ago that was. So I'm sorry if you're still here and you haven't. And, uh, what's it? Whatchamacallit? I didn't shout it out in time. Also, I just realized Empoleon is shiny. What the heck? You gave me a shiny Empoleon, CT? Oh my gosh. You just realized? Yeah, because it's so similar to whatchamacallit. That's like... Uh, I freaking hate Pokemon that are like so similar to their normal uh, types when it comes to their shiny types. Like shiny Garchomp and stuff. I hit with Flamethrower. You know what? I've, I've got the... The thingy. I've got it in the bag. Ooh, and it hits. I forget that I'm even in the local casino starters so much. Oh heck no, man. Uh, I love, I love, uh, Terra, Tor, uh, Tor Torterra. That's the one. That was my favorite. Oh, I love me Torterra. And I love Infernape. Okay, Infernape also has a very similar shiny color, but I let it pass because because uh, it's pink. Pink Monkey. Or I guess it's not really pink, it's magenta. And there we go, we finally beat Kirin. Oh my gosh, we got $196 out of this kid. Just absolutely stole this kid's allowance. For the entire month. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. No. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, no, 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 no. Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? Wait, Drayton! Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? X champion Oh, is that it for the cutscene? Oh, there we go. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Yes, we got a new Barbecue League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Oh my gosh, we got another Master Ball. Hey, Kieran. 
This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you'd go back to having fun with all of this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and... When? Next time. Come again? I won't lose. Next time, for sure, I'll... I'll win. Next time, I'll win. I'll save, say something to our bud. Mako, I... Ah. Uh, oof. <laughs> if we might, um, interrupt... Well, first, of course, we want to offer Mako our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it for a moment, would you? If Mako is our champion, then that means she's head of the League Club. But she's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here, if she doesn't stick around? There's so many particulars to sort out. Oh, huh. Yeah. And, of course, if Kirin rejoins the Elite Four and having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? Me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kirin himself what he would like to do next. Kirin... This is an announcement for the following students. Barbecued League Champion Kirin, Top Elite 4 member Drayton. Foreman of Class 3-2, Mako, our exchange student. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you. Please proceed to Classroom 1-4 as soon as possible. What could that be about? Now is really not the time. Barbecue League Champion Kirin, huh? You're really gonna need to update that. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? It's just not right, and certainly not kind. I don't know, I kind of like Drayton's smug assholery. Well, I shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, Mako. We'll meet you there. I'll make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. So envious of Lacey? So am I. I wish I looked as as cute as her. My goodness. Look at her. Smoochable forehead. And me with a smoochable five head. So, just go up here. Or no, we go over here. Me with an unsmoochable pony head. Hey, look, all ponies have a smoochable forehead. Unless your icon is a unicorn, then I would poke my eye out, giving you a smooch on the forehead. Here we are, Miss B. Thank, thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Oh please, you're not even old enough for that yet. Ah, Mako. I heard you were busy battling your way to the top of the... Wait. Your way up the barbecue league. But I guess... Uh... But to think you'd make it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Sorry, Miss Pryor, could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I, w 
I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? Am I the only one who feels like Drayton's definitely bisexual? Like he asks you on a date regardless of your gender? 100% bi? I definitely think Drayton is bi. I am... That is my headcanon as well. My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. Just got back from dinner with the folks. what I miss? Me, I'm having a snack. And also, we beat Kirin. So now we're going to head into Area Zero, which I guess is the final part of the DLC. But to be honest, I have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Terrapagos, a legendary Pokemon? A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Ooh, the girlfriends. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Champion Mako, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, uh, of course. You must be participating in the student, student exchange program. Mako just got crowned our new Barbecue League champion, too. How come everyone in Sword, uh, Scarlet and Violet is gay? Because it's awesome, man. Awesome, brah. Awesome, everybody. I, I need to stop saying man and brah. I need to start saying gender-neutral stuff. Peeps. Peeps. That's a good one. I've got robots. I keep forgetting I need to call you guys robots. All y'all's robots. I mean, so long as they keep making everybody gay in future games, it's all good. I definitely do think that we need more, uh, like, uh, what's it? Uh, I lost my train of thought. First, this ADHD. Uh, I'd say man and bruh is gender neutral. I don't Well, some people have different opinions on it. So I just, I need to stray away from it just in case somebody's not cool with it. Pokemon Femboy and Pokemon Tomboy. I would pre, look, I don't order pre, uh, I don't pre-order uh, Pokemon games, but I would pre-order Pokemon Femboy and Pokemon Tomboy. Let's see, so Pokemon Femboy, who would be on the cover of Pokemon Femboy? That would probably be... Who's the pink-haired character from Sun and Moon? That would be on Femboy, and Pokemon Tomboy would be... Uh, Pokemon Tomboy would be Misty? Yeah, Ilima, that's, uh, that's his name. Thank you, any of the Pokemon fan. Oh yeah, Wally could be Femboy also. Yeah, it would be Pokemon Femboy and Pokemon Tomboy, and then the third version would be like... It, I guess the third version could go one of two ways. You could either make it Pokemon non-binary version or Pokemon transgender version. I guess transgender is more of a umbrella term, which could not include non-binary. So I guess transgender would be the third version. That'll be epic. Is there, is there like a canonical trans character in Pokemon? I guess there is that one trainer in Pokemon X and Y who said that she was a black belt and then she turned into a beauty thanks to the power of modern medicine. But is there... Are there any... Well, I guess I've heard... I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I've heard that, like, what's it? A penny can be read as, like, uh, an MTF uh, trans character. Because of the whole, like, hacker hacker thingy. Isn't that, isn't that a thing? Uh, isn't that, like, a trope? Where it's, like, 
the hacker or like the IT person is like a furry in trans or whatever. I don't know. I just see memes of it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, trans uh, hacker trope is a thing. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see, Meryl is trans kind of. Who the heck is Meryl? Uh, Meryl Pokemon. Who is this? I mean, besides the Pokemon. You mean Marnie? Marnie from, uh, Sword Shield? Oh, because there used to be a glitch uh, with Azura. Yeah, I think I've heard about that. Where if you, uh, if you evolved Meryl, it would swap genders. Oh, wait, it had a female rate of 75%. But uh, Meryl has a rate of 50%. Oh, interesting. That is quite the thingy. I'm learning so much about queer Pokemon facts. Yeah, I guess Penny would be the cover character for Pokemon transgender. You know, I see a lot of male... Uh, I see a lot of trans women in media. Like, when it comes to anime and games and stuff. Where, where are the trans men? Is there any trans men in Pokemon? That's what I want to see. Pokemon, you need to get on that. Actually, you know what? I think I could probably see N as, uh, what's it? Well, no, nah, I think I could see N more as, like, non-binary. But maybe N could be, uh, a trans man. I could see that. I'll make that my headcanon. Trans men are sadly un underrepresented. Uh, un, un, bleh, 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 bleh. Uh, sadly underrepresented. Yeah, that's sad. I like how there's a lot of trans characters in a lot of media, but it's like, you gotta, gotta bring in the boys up in here. Like, I am so surprised that there's no trans man in Guilty Gear. Because we've got Bridget, I'm sorry, uh, Brisket as the trans girl, and we've got Testament as the trans non-binary, but there's no trans man. What is that? What is up with that? Come on now. Anyway, we need to get back into the game. Uh, your talent is always as uh, is as brilliant as always. I see, truly a wonderful thing. If you're going, uh, if you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it all right if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, oh. you've reached out to me, as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Mako also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course. But it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our team as we enjoy uh, explore Area Zero? Let's go. Splendid. Well said, Champion Mako. Um, well, it's already decided that I'm going. Of course. Of course Carmen is going. Because frickin' we have... Uh, she's our girlfriend. Our second girlfriend. Oh no, she's our first girlfriend. Well, third girlfriend. Because I think it goes Nimona, 
then Penny, then Carmen, then Lacey. I think Carmen is probably my favorite out of all of our girlfriends. All right. Yeah. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. What? Drayton? Really? The league club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Oh, there's a major, major outage on frickin' Caster Labs. Those. I just noticed that. Okay, there we go. Sure, you can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious that, uh, what our mighty ex-champion is thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon out there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmen, Kieran, Mako, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to the great findings that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Mako, can you hear us? I can now. Drayton isn't opting out to his worth ethic. It's about self-preservation. That is true, yeah. You don't want to die by being crushed by Terra Pagos. I think there's just an outage with Caster Labs, which is the... Uh, Caster Labs is the program that I use for the chat. I guess. Yeah, chat's frozen on the screen. So how about let me close chat and let me restart the program. Rip Drayton cause cause of death. Terra Pagos ate his head. No, Terra Pagos ripped off his hair and used his hair as toothpaste. That's what happened. Oh, it just says that there's a major outage. For Caster Labs. So I guess Caster Labs, I can't bring it up. So YouTube chat, I'm so sorry, Twitch chat. But I will bring up YouTube chat. Uh, where is my YouTube chat? That's not the right one. Copy. And just gotta paste this here. There we go. So yeah, sorry. Yeah, on the Twitch sign. Uh, so yeah, my program that combines both Twitch and YouTube chat is not working. So I'm just going to have the YouTube chat up right now. Sorry, guys. Hopefully the outage won't last long. Let me just bring it up real quick. The program... Okay, now the program won't even open, so I think it's something wrong with the with the server. Yeah, we'll just have to go back to the old look. Oh wait, is it connected? Wait, connected to YouTube chat successfully. Let me go to accounts. Oh, it's not connected to my Twitch account anymore. That is weird. Wait, give me one second to fix this up every Just change this up real quick. Sign into my Twitch. Yes, authorize. Rogue Rise. Okay, success. You make window. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now I think the chat is normal now. There we go. What's your favorite Eevee Lucians, everybody? 
my favorite is Glaceon. I like Glaceon, Sylveon. Well, I like Shiny Sylveon. I like Shiny Sylveon and Glaceon. There we go. Now we're back. I hope you're not in a hurry to leave, Champion Mako. I would very much like to chat a little bit longer. Oh, wait. Uh, don't forget to visit the Steel Elite Four Girl to make your uh, Miraidon fly. Okay, yeah, still gotta do that. It has been a while, Champion Mako. Hey, Akito. Rika's here, too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're trying to- that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as the Paldea Champion, even while abroad. Huh, indeed. I would expect nothing less from our- from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get a scolding for that. Jeez, my, my brain is just rotting. Oh sure, now you're sorry. I practically fell out of my seat when I heard you uh, about where you'd been. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to her after all. Mika, uh, Rika mad is kind of... Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am in lesbians with Rika. Absolutely. I need to make a thumbnail of me making out with Rika. And besides, we have a good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Mako hadn't ventured into the Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean that's true, but... Fine. I'll let you off the hook this one time. You better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Mako. This time you'll be heading into Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I'd forgotten about that. Champion Mako, would you be so kind as to take this for me? Hmm. A mysterious disc with an indigo shine. Honestly, for some reason, I thought that the indigo disc... Like, for some reason, when I read indigo disc when buying the DLC, I was thinking, oh, is there like a Porygon Z thing? But that's dubious disc. Yeah, it's the upgrade into Porygon 2 and then dubious disc into Porygon Z. I forgot about it. Oh, you finally got your, oh my gosh, Annie the Pony fan, you're playing Heart Gold. That is my favorite Pokemon game ever. Oh my gosh. I love that game so much. Your Miraidon can only fly after Terrapagos. Okay, gotcha. It's a Blu-ray copy of Troll 2. What is that, anyway? A TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It's certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading into Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of the disc while you're there. While she's there, huh? Did you want her to pick up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return to disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still much we don't know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to the depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokémon there. As a champion, it falls onto you to protect and guide those accompanying you. I wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please, excuse us. Right. 
right, let's go into area zero. Uh, oh wait, we just need to fly on out of here. Wait, I need to go just to the front. Julio. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Mako? Yes, yes I am. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm... I'm fine, anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran. All right, then. Shall we? Random thing. What are your guys's... What are, what are y'all's headcanon voices for these characters? Because for me, Rarity's voice actor... Uh, from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, uh, Tabitha St. Germain. I have her as my headcanon voice for Briar. And funny enough, another pony voice actor, I've got Princess Luna as my headcanon for uh, Carmen's voice. But yeah. I don't know who I would have for Kieran, though. Uh, what's your favorite webcomic? Ooh, my favorite webcomic is this kind of old one. It started in 2006. It's called Nemu Nemu. Basically, it's just, it's a, essentially just like a Hawaiian slice of life comic. And it was the basic, or like the twist, or the thing that makes it different than other slice of lives is just that the main characters, they have these stuffed animal dogs, and they just come to life. And yeah, they just get into shenanigans and stuff like that. And it's my favorite webcomic. Unfortunately, it ended in 2018 because of the health of the author. Uh, but yeah, Nemu Nemu, favorite webcomic. It's what got me into reading webcomics online. And yeah, let's see. Uh, other webcomics that I like. I don't really read webcomics anymore because I was into VG Cats when I was a little kid. Uh, I like Control-Alt-Delete just to laugh at how dumb the comics are. But I don't really read webcomics. I don't read webtoons at all. Uh, yeah, mostly I mostly just read manga. Ooh, Kieran is Spike. Ooh, yeah, Kieran. I could definitely hear Spike, Spike's voice actor as Kieran. Absolutely. Ooh, my favorite is Rain by Jocelyn Samara. Okay, I'll have to take a look into that. <laughs> Kieran sounds like Komeda uh, in my head. I, I think I could hear that, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely hear that. I think Kieran sounds like Emporio from Jojo Part 6. I have only ever watched... No, I've I've never watched anything Jojo related. I've read half of Part 1. I think I stopped reading after Joseph beats the crap out of... Out of... Uh, out of... What's his face? He's... Gosh, how can I not remember my favorite character from part one? Uh, what's his face? He's, he's at first, he, at first he doesn't like Joseph. And then Joseph beats the crap out of him. And then he's like, okay, you're cool. And now he joined the ranks. And it's not Dio. What is his name? Something Wagon. What's his face? Steel wagon, bandwagon, speed wagon, that's his name. 
Yeah, I read up to the part where Joseph Joestar uh, beats the crap out of out of Speedwagon. But yeah, Speedwagon is my favorite character because I just love that type of character because I love Vegeta and all that stuff. I I really like the homeboy trope. Like in Dune Part Two, my favorite character is probably Stilgar and all that stuff. In Common Rider uh, Geo, my favorite character is Waz. In Transformers, my favorite character is Soundwave, so I really like the Hype Man uh, character archetype. But yeah. Uh, we made it. I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Mako? Friends, huh? Oh, there's our boy. Our bestest friend. Eek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Or, whatchamadon. So you came here with Mako back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go into the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. What do you mean by even deeper, Vine Boom? Eyebrow raised. Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to somewhere even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he can get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath has also uh, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are be are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making uh, by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Mako. I'm going into the depths of Carmen's Area Zero. Hey, I've got... I've already got my... My... Uh, I've already got pre-orders on those tickets. I'm going in first. I was at the very... At the... The freaking front of the line. You gotta take the back seat. In German, Carmen calls your Miraidon Thingydon. That's what that's what I should have named my Miraidon. Yeah, girl. Why don't you uh Miraidon my Thingydon? <laughs> I'll be here all week, folks. For more zingers like that. Alright, so I guess we just fall down. We just go and just straight down. And we just keep going, right? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Give me right on with her area zero till I terastalize. Oh my gosh. You know, I love, I love joke formats like that. Like the, when Willy Wonka, when that movie came out, what's it? I had friends who were like, oh yeah, she wonk on my Willy till I Oompa Loompa. I love those kinds of like, just saying the name of a title and turning it into a, a euphemism. This name, wait, uh, that's it. I originally wanted to name my cat Thingy-ma-bomb because my sister didn't want me to name her Maddie because it's too close to her name. So I just named my cat Evoli, which is Evie's German name. I like that name. That's a cute name for your cat. But 
whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So, this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point in the Area Zero expedition managed to reach a long time ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? Gate's closed, though. Huh. Oh, you're right. What do we do now, Mako? You've been here before, right? Do I have to do, like, a hacking minigame like Sly Cooper? Wowzers. This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. Way past cool. Such screenshot. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Well then, we can count on you to unlock the gate, Mako. I guess I just put in the dubious disc. Oh, you just got the Team Rocket uniform in heart gold. I freaking I love... Okay, so my favorite trainer design of all time is uh, Lyra from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So when she gets the Team Rocket outfit, that's like A plus S tier, triple S tier plus character design. I freaking love having the Team Rocket outfit. And it sucks you can't wear that outfit through the rest of the game. You only wear it in that one section where you're disguising yourself as a Team Rocket grunt. You can't wear it anywhere else, and I'm sad. But yeah. And the things I would do to have a fully 3D uh, Gen 4, or not Gen 4, a Heart Gold and Soul Silver game. I want Let's Go, whatchamacallit, I really want Let's Go Johto, or a a port of Heart Gold Soul Silver, a la Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Because that game is already perfect enough. You don't need to remake it in the same sense of like Omega Roof B, Alpha Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Just bring me the game as it was and put it onto Switch 2. That's all I want. Because I feel like I'm one of the few people who actually genuinely enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. But I want another one of those games because Johto is like my favorite region ever. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before though, right? Is there some extra stuff we're missing? Man, do we have to go all the way and unlock those lock things. See, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was there to guide you from the inside. Okay, so we do need to in insert that Blu-ray disc. Huh? It's talking. Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. Not any different from a TM machine. Indigo disc. What could it mean by that? Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Ooh, how fun. Go on, Mako, do it. You have my per permission. Let's go. Let's go insert our Blu-ray copy of Godzilla Minus One. And back then, I will be 18 soon. Holy frick, where did the time go? Time flies. 
over in this on this YouTube channel, we're always fascinated by the passage of time. Let's go open up this place with the very low frame rate. That screenshot. What screenshot? I didn't, I didn't screenshot nothing. Look at that. It opened. Let's head on in. Alright, let's see what this new area is like. Ooh, but like your 18th birthday is June 11th. Well, uh, uh, what's it? Let's see. June 11th, that's three months away. Okay, happy early, early, early birthday. Or I guess if you're on, if I'm streaming at that time, I'll try to remember uh, if you're getting onto the stream and all that stuff to say happy birthday to you when it's that time. Oh, yeah. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where's, this, where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh? You're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look! An elevator! Maybe it can take us further down? You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? Down with the sickness? This next section is a bunch of raid battles, so pick the strongest Pokemon of whichever you think are the most handsome. Okay, sure, I will do just that. Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? I think, I actually don't remember, to be quite honest. I swear I thought you were going to screenshot that. I was thinking it. I was thinking it. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. <sighs> down bad, you say? What are you talking about? I'm say-so in this stream. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone? That panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah. Something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there is only one elevator inside the Zero Lab, so the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this taking us? Ho ho ho! Where... indeed? <laughs> what- what a goofy... what a goof. What a goober. Miss Briar is. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So what, are we under area zero or something? Oh man, I love her. Well, I mean, I love her, but I love her Rotom phone case. I want to get myself one of those. Oh, I just made a trans man for Guilty Gear. Just remembered that. Muscles MC strongman guy. Saul bad guy. I guess I can see him as being like trans man. I could see that. See that. 
I'm bad at writing, okay? It's okay. I can still read what you're saying. I'm still picking up what you're throwing down. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I mean, we're bad at writing boys. Oh, I see, I see, okay. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey, What's all this stuff? Oh? What are these desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my. This is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Turo. A massive crater exists between uh, beneath Area Zero and their slumber's Terra Pagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Wow, nice name drop. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I've witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this Terra type the Stellar type for now. Could Terra Pagos influence be at play? Terra Pagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a Stellar Terra type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous to think there was such that Heath didn't write about. These documents are a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. A legendary Pokemon Terra Pagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and get further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. Maybe the true treasure of Area Zero is the friends we made along the way. That is true. That is what the true treasure of One Piece is. All of the friends. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay. We did not heal our Pokemon beforehand. Oh wait, but we have a max revive. It's all good. Oh no. No. Okay. He almost fell off there. Wait, is that Terra Pagos? That looks like it could be. Very hexagonal. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked the path. Yeah, we're not going any further in this, uh, with this in the way. Hey, what about that Wuchimadon? That Pokemon you ride on? Did it smash through? Hold on, hold on. Please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what would happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Oh, you're sleepy. Right. Uh, go to bed. Good night, everybody. Enjoy this. Thanks for stopping by, Annie the Pony fan. Uh, you have yourself a good sleep. And yeah, we'll see you hopefully next time. Hopefully you'll come back to the stream. Become a... Uh, a fully-fledged robot. But yeah, no pressure. Yeah, you have yourself a good night. Ooh, what is happening here with this thing? And a Pokemon all the way down here? And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no good in battle, Miss Briar. Kiki, no. Mako, you should handle this. Oh, wow. Really saying that right in front of him? Oh, it's like 1 a.m. where you are? Oh, geez. Yeah, it's just... What's it? 
is 16.54 right now. And then non-military time. Oh my gosh, what is this? What the heck? That's the stellar type? I don't know how to deal with that. Uh, which means it is 4.54. Man, we've only been streaming for an hour and 54 minutes? Wow. All right, so let's go Heavy Slam. Oh, they have stab on everything, but keep their matchups. Okay. Wait, can we... Oh, wait, we can't capture it. Dang it. Yo, what's up? Markasatsu, how's it going? Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's... Uh, still rock poison type, but it'll be... Oh, have stronger moves until it faints. Gotcha. Wait, this thing is poison type? I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just rock type. Good work, Mako. Oh, this... This kind of looks like the... The slide level in freaking Mario 64. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the power of each and every type. That means it must have the stellar uh, stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you found, uh, you just fought off, doesn't fully fit the description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way we way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Thank you, thank you, Markasatsu, thank you. Come on. Let's go into here and finish up this DLC. Oh man, okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, that's super deep. Oh no! And game over. I just died. Alright, let's not fall off this time. Is it just Glamora in here? Ooh, what is this? Hydro Pump, okay. I don't think I have a need for that, but it's good to have. Oh, wait, just Glamora and Carbink in here. Oh no. No, I want to get this thing over here. Wait, and is there... Ooh, what is that? What is this creature? Actually, this is reminding me of the crystal library from Dark Souls 1. Feels like I'm gonna fight Seath the Scaleless here. Ooh, let's go battle this thing. Oh wait, this is the thing that we're supposed to fight. I thought it was just a random, random Pokemon. Man, I was looking forward to capturing this thing. I feel like I need to release all the flip-flops I hatch for Hagen dies. Okay, how many flip-flops did it take to hatch Hagen dies? Uh, let's do Thunder Punch. But I'm depressed. This is not a good combination. Well, I hope things get better for whatever situation that's making you mad and depressed. Maybe take some time and step away from whatever it is that's giving me this thing. Maybe take a nap. Whenever I'm mad and depressed, I just take a nap. That makes me feel better. Or play some video games. 
it's funny. Whenever I try to relax and play video games, I always play video games that stress me the frick out. Like Dark Souls. Well, Dark Souls I know how to manipulate. So, I guess not Dark Souls, but I guess it would more so be Bloodborne. Bloodborne and Celeste. You have 203 Piplups. Oh my goodness. Good job, Mako. And the crystal thing is gone now. I remember back in my day when I had Pokemon X and Y and I was trying to hatch for shinies. I had hatched around 2,000 eggs for Togepi and I did not get my shiny and that's where I stopped shiny hunting or shiny, shiny hatching because I hatched 2,000 eggs for, uh, for a shiny Togetic. Did not get it. And then I hatched 1,000 eggs of Ralts to get a shiny Gardevoir. Didn't get it. Oh yeah. Shiny hunters and shiny hatchers these days, they have it so easy. Back in my day, your chances of getting a shiny were like one in 8,000, and now it's what? One in 1,000? Did you use the Masuda method? Yes, I did. So, uh, wonder trading was such a fantastic thing because everybody from all over the planet were just trading Pokemon, so I just randomly got my hands on a Japanese, or no, it was either Japanese or it must have been French or German. Uh, just what, whatever Pokemon, whatever country, that wasn't from America, but I got a Togepi and I just bred that thing like crazy until it uh, uh, would give me the freaking egg I wanted, but it never ended up doing it. Celeste has at least a calming atmosphere though, Bloodborne doesn't. Well, I mean, so, well, Celeste for the most part does, but not farewell. That DLC is so stressful. That Pokemon's called me right on, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep moving. Got a Spanish Ditto in Pokemon Shield for an all-purpose breeder? Nice. Alright, where is this... This... Uh... Pokemon. Uh, okay, so it's not here. Where do I go? Do I... Came from there. Okay, so we have to go over here. And there's one. Is there another one? Doesn't look like there's another one. Alright, so let's go fight. Oh no. Go fight this. What is this one? That like a herdier? Which Pokemon? Oh, a Tyranitar. Oh wait, this one's the Mecha Godzilla. Tyranitar. And I wish I could capture this one. Oh, I didn't even notice that it was wearing like a little Terrapagos. So, oh, I guess Drain Punch or Seig I guess I'll do Seismic Toss. Well, this one's Steel Electric, right? I think so. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Hmm. 
And I guess we'll do Drain Punch. We definitely need some more health. Again, I apologize if you hear a bunch of lip smacking sounds. I'm just eating some Cheez Its. Seismic Toss does your Pokemon's level of damage. Well, I thought it would do super effective, but I guess not. I guess it just does regular physical damage and not typed damage. Rock Electric. Oh, okay. Yeah, raise your sketch, you are right. You can't go wrong with Cheez Its. However, I have always been on the side of Cheese Nips, actually. I enjoy Cheese Nips way better than Cheez Its, but I haven't had Cheese Nips in like 10 years. So. But yeah. Hey, Mako, the path opened up. Yeah, I don't know why I really enjoy cheese nips better. I just remember them being I liked the I like the texture of cheese nips. But do they still sell cheese nips? Or is it just cheese its right now? I mean nips are pretty good, I can't blame you. Oh my goodness. I mean there's nothing sussy about that sentence. I do enjoy nips as well. Yeah, they've got a nice they've got a nice texture in your mouth. Uh and yeah. Nothing sussy there. Anyways, sorry we uh we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther we go down. Um, we've got, uh, we've no time to lose. Oh, thank you, uh, Rifter ZC for the follow. Oh no, why, why can't, why am I unable to, am I stuck? Okay, now where is the thingy up here? Let me ride on. What is going on? Lots of items. Oh, geez. Is it preparing me for, like, a boss battle? Are we close to Terra Pagos? Yeah, I think this is quite clear that I'm going to be fighting Terra Pagos. Oh, and lots of small items. Hard stone. What do I use a hard stone for? Oh, wait, you use the hard stone with fling. That's right. Now, where do I fight? What is this thing? Oh, this one's a garganacle. Is this where I'm supposed to fight Terrapagos? This looks like where I would fight Terrapagos. Ooh, I can also climb up this thing. Let me do that first. Anything good up here? There is literally nothing. Okay. Unless maybe I'm not going high enough? God, this underground river section is beautiful. I know, right? It looks super cool. Alright, time to fight the Minecraft golem. just easily destroy this guy. He's just rock type. So we'll just keep doing some drain punches. Oh, heck yeah.
Also, uh, for those of you who know, what type is Terrapagos? Dragon Knuckles is attacking you because you're not Steve. That is true. I am just, I'm just a mere Minecraft skeleton. Uh, but yeah, what type is Terrapagos? Oh, it's a normal type? Okay. And that means I can keep Yowie Hands on my team. Okay, Kiki. Your turn to call Mako over. Maybe she'd rather have you do it. I mean, Kieran isn't wrong. Quit your blabbering. Just do it. Hey, the path has opened up. We can keep going. All right, let's go fight. Is that the last one? Or do we need to fight more Terror Raid Pokemon? Because this feels like it's the penultimate one before we have to fight actual Terrapagos. Well, Kiki, is there... Isn't there something you wanted to say to Mako? No, not really. This feels like we're all relying a bit too much on her is all. We should keep going. All right, not mad anymore. I fixed the problem. Nice. That's what we like. And want to know what's so weird? Uh, this is something completely unrelated to the game. But I recently... So every year, uh, for those of you who uh, have watched My Little Pony Friendship is Magic... There is a holiday in the show called Winter Wrap-Up, and every every year it happens on the day before spring. It's on the last day of winter, and in the show they use that day to clean up everything. But for me, I celebrate it every year by moving my room around, and uh, for the first time in such a long time, my desk is now right next to my window. And it's so great, because combine that with streaming earlier in the day because of daylight savings time and now i'm actually streaming with the sun uh the sunlight on me it's just shining on my metal right now it's like oh man i love this i wish i had more time to stream like earlier in the day and not just in the middle of the night man i need more i need to get a new work schedule i wish i could have time to at hours like this, so I'm not in some dank, dark, no light cave in the middle of the night. But yeah, how are you guys feeling about this new time slot? I just kind of wanted to stream earlier just because I could. But yeah, do you guys like this stream time? Or do you like it later in the day? But yeah. I'm enjoying it. I just wish I could do it more often. Anyhow. Yeah, he's so stubborn. <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Gee, she even talks like Rarity. Can you see why my headcanon voice for her is frickin' Tabitha St. Germain? She's literally just Rarity. Just so you know, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just absolute are just about spent. It's near the end of my shift, so it's neat. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, it works for you today because uh, you have the day off. Okay, cool, cool. Sinus Chan is all, all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. Save me, tall girl. Tall girl, save me. My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. Huh, you're right. Mine is too. 
I'm picking up a truly outstanding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Oh boy, is this where I finally fight Terrapagos? Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Violet Book is so close now. What? Not you too. Those two sometimes, I swear. Let's go fight our fight and finish this DLC. Oh yeah, this is absolutely last room. Like boss room stuff. It honestly looks like a battle arena for like a Legend of Zelda game. Like it's giving me the same vibes as the first boss from Ocarina of Time. It's kind of like in the same sort of cave area. And also that plant boss from Wind Waker. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. Hidden treasure. Where is it? And this is when you find out Briar is just an irresponsible adult and not a hidden boss like I thought she would be. Yeah, she's no girl boss. She's just girl failuring right now. There, Kieran, up ahead. There's something among those pillars. I'm getting confused because I'm used to seeing how early it looks, but it's only in the late hour. Yeah, daylight saving time is pretty crazy. Uh, this stone's the hidden treasure? Ooh, big burp. Give me a moment, I just need to check something. I really thought Briar was going to be a twist villain. Do we ever get to see her use Pokemon? Because she absolutely looks like a ghost type trainer. So do we ever get to see her, like, whip out a Gengar or something? If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero... I... I can finally beat Mako! Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis! Mako has everything I've ever wanted. She's got strong Pokémon, she can go anywhere she wants, and she can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose her over me. But Kiki, you did your best, too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty towards her at first, but then boom. You were like girlfriends in no time. I... well... I've got nothing. I've worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. This... this is all I have left now. Found it. The crystal is definitely what we were looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Boy. And we got a single rupee. Well, this is really Legend of Zelda. There's no doubting it. That crystal must be Terrapagos. Oh, I thought it was just going to be part of Terrapagos. I didn't realize that, that the crystal is the whole of Terrapagos. Oh, that's what it looks like. Oh, I totally forgot it has like a regular form and then the terrestrial form is like the big one. I really like its eyes. No, don't. Don't choose me over Kieran. Oh man, actually using the Master Ball. Wow, man wasted no time. That was Terrapagos? You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were pre well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want. But there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, 
You heard her, Mako. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go taunt him a bit. We go. And let's fight. All right, get in position. Oh boy, I'm kind of freaked out because Terrapago seems like it would be... This is like the final battle of the DLC, right? So this is going to be super hard. I hope you've braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Mako. Oh my gosh, gamer. That's right. I am a true gamer right now, uh, Kaloon. Oh, now he's turned into a pancake. Okay, so it's normal type, so I guess we'll just do low kick. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this, I can win for sure. Oh wow, it's even got a freaking... Uh, a boss, uh, a boss health bar. Uh, Ivy Crudgel? Cudgel? Okay, wow, that does way more. Oh, we're all just spamming just one move. Okay, so now let's go whip out Yaoi hands. And drain punch. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, did we get get back most of our health? Huh? It has a weakness? I thought this was the hidden treasure of area zero. Arapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be when we're missing something? Oh, its defense is pretty high. I see. Right, one more drain punch. was easy. But why? I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it would make me stronger. I thought I'd... I thought it'd let me beat Mako. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. If terrestrial energy output uh, is far too low... Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Violet Book. So Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure? Of course! Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Erin, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant! If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. Man, Briar's just egging him on. I knew it! The Violet Book was right! Parapagos in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. 
Oh my god. This thing looks like a freaking JRPG final boss, like god. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Terrapagos to its ball. Uh, okay, come back, Terrapagos. What? It won't go back inside. Why? I've never seen a Pokeball get like destroyed like that. That's really cool. Now I'm going to crush Kiki's dreams even more by capturing this Pokemon right in front of him. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it under control. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something too. We've got Terrapagos out of under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Oh boy. Yeah, Briar putting children in danger just for secrets is crazy, not gonna lie. He is the most ir irresponsible teacher. Alright, let's go... Oh wait. Oh wait, we can't terrestrialize. Darn. Oh no. Okay, so this child got the brunt of the damage. Oh god, what? That didn't do anything. It's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Okay, so we just gotta wait until we can terrestrialize. I guess we'll just throw out a random attack. In the meantime. Fight alongside your girlfriend, hell yeah. Power of love, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, now we can terrestrialize. Ooh, and it's burned. Good job. Good job, babe. Now's your chance. Use Terrestrialized Pokemon to strike back. And let's go hit with the Drain Punch. Okay, hopefully this does a lot of damage. Oh god. Oh my god, what? Okay, at least we took out the shield. We definitely need to do a full restore next time. Oh wait, never mind. That gave us a lot of damage. Or gave us a lot of health back. Oh no, I don't want to risk it. Oh wait, what? We don't have terrestrial energy anymore? What? It absorbed terrestrial energy? Oh no. Not me. Okay, thank god it hit the Sinistra. Oh no, my Sinistra's knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. Oh god. Another shield? Great. Wait, changed its type? Put up another barrier of such strength? Did it use terrestrial energy it absorbed to do so? You need to get in, the bat uh, get in there in battle, Kiki. Mako's doing all the work. I. It's no good. I'm useless. Okay, I think I can. 
tank one more hit. So let's go for another punch. Yeah, I can definitely take this hit. Never mind. I couldn't. Alright, Empoleon, you're up. At least I have a full restore. And a max potion. Okay, that is not doing anything. Flash cannon. Oh, it's Terra type water. Okay. Well, I don't have anything that beats water. I guess I just have to bring back... Bring back Yowie Hands. Is that Empoleon Shiny? It is. All thanks to CT1. So thank you for trading this to me at the beginning of the stream. There we go, now we got Yowie Hands. Not even halfway done with this fight, and I'm all out of snack. Oh, yeah, three Cheez Its. Dang it. Oh, yeah, Yowie Hands is the true MVP of this entire run. Absolutely. Damn, this isn't doing anything. Oh god. No! Okay, thank god. Oh jeez, I would need two more hits of... hits from Thunder Punch in order to make this work. I think I just wasted a move. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to let Yowie Hands uh, get knocked out. Well, never mind. Really tough boss. Let's go. Galleon. How about let's go. Dragon Dance. Okay, I'm already faster than it, so I guess it doesn't really matter that. Have Dragon Dance or not? Oh my gosh! It's not even a super effective hit, and already took out half my health. Dragon Claw. What? Okay. EQ. What? Didn't even do anything like with that amount of health? Or er, that move manage? Uh, man, I'm just gonna get knocked out at this point.
Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay, yep. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Rock Candy. You are going to die. Okay, let's do Young Hands again. Thunder Punch. So stressful. I'm probably gonna take out half our health again. Nope, okay, good, good. Oh, thank goodness. Absorb terrestrial energy yet again? Surely it can't keep doing that over and over, though. Kiki, Mako's in trouble. You need to help her. But I can't. I can't help anyone. Yeah, let's let's motivate our boy. Let's do this, bud. Now what? What's its new type now? I don't know what type it is. Okay, I'll help out too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. So what type is this Pokemon now? Uh, I'm gonna assume it's yellow health bar, so electric type. It looks water. It was water last time. Let me let me check real quick. Uh, Terra Ghost type. Let me see. What does Bulbapedia say in battle? Would it be in game data? Mm. Oh, wait. Maybe I go Terrapangos Battle Cerebi? Oh, it's water type again? Okay. The fact that it hits multiple enemies, that's messed up. Oh, it's supposed to be Psychic, the second health bar. Oh, okay. Um, man, this is gonna take a while. At least it's paralyzed as well, too. Yeah, this is going to take so long. Ain't getting pumped. I don't know what that means. Oh, God. Let's see how much this actually does. Well, I think that did more damage than the other one. 
did it? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me? Yeah, goodbye, yelling hand. Oh, also, I just saw it on my phone. Thank you, Raphael uh, Foglio, for the sub on YouTube. Jeez, I wish there was a way to play, uh, or a way I could hear the YouTube and the subs thing go up. Or, like, have it play through my speakers, because it only plays on stream. Uh, now we'll go... Max Revive. Oh, we only have one Max Revive. Uh, oh god, now it's got Water Pulse. Of course. And then I'll also use this time to revive uh, Yaoi hands. Just gotta keep our level 100s in tip top shape. Oh, thank you, Curry Pond. Okay, and then now we can use a Hyper Potion. No, we'll use Max Potion on Yowie Hands. Should we bring Yowie Hands back out? Because it doesn't seem like we're doing anything with all of its moves. I guess we can try Seismic Toss. Yes. Let's just see. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, this boss would be really annoying to restart. Yeah, because we have to go through the entire fight with Kirin all over again as as well. Wait, so it's Terra fighting right now? now. I totally forgot that I needed to terrestrialize again. Looks like you can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to end this, you two. You only have permission to go all out. Okay. We got this, I think. Let's do... Another seismic toss, I suppose. Oh, well, that did it. Okay, cool. Finally, we've done it.
Maybe it'll go back inside of its ball now. I know I can count on you, Mako. You got this. Ooh, what Pokeball do you guys think Terra Pecos would look best in? Can I go Master Ball, Premier Ball? Let's see, maybe Dusk Ball? I don't know. Or maybe a Luxury Ball. Alright, I got one vote for Luxury Ball. Anybody else have uh, thoughts on different balls? I think luxury. Luxury is the way to go. All right, that's two for luxury. All right, let's go luxury ball. Thick. Now we have one of these. Heck yeah. The Gucci ball. <laughs> that is, it. this is very much the designer ball. The Louis Vuitton ball. Is, is it over? Is everyone okay? Yeah, are you okay standing around doing freaking nothing? I'm fine, thank you. Perfectly unharmed. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply unexcusable. I'm sorry, everyone. You should be. You completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I... I messed up, too. I looked up to Mako for so long. I wanted to be like her so bad. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I don't have it in me to be like her after all. Finally. Finally I can let it go. Yeah, don't sell yourself short, kid. But... I... I just... Yeah, I'm not gonna voice act that. I don't... I don't cry on stream. I only do that when I when I play Bloodborne. I swear, you've uh, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. Jesus Christ. Oh, you two must have been so scared. But all you shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our Mako even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Oh my gosh, we're finally done with the DLC. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a bit longer. I thought we were going to have, like, one more stream of Pokemon. But I think, I mean, we can do another stream of Pokemon. Just do a little side thing. I think I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch that. I need a publisher first. Hey, Mako. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, Mako. So, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. So, do you think we could start over from zero and be friends again? We're going to leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. This was a very good DLC. I liked the writing of everybody. I wish Amorous and the Fire Dude, I wish they had more to say in the in the DLC. But uh yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think Pokemon writing has gone 
Like, this is probably the best writing in any Pokemon game. Oh, there's one more story to go through? Oh, oh, geez. I guess we do have one more stream's worth. With that, I must leave. It's dinner time. Thank you, Mako. Uh, thank you for helping me out in stream and sending me that freaking shiny Empoleon. I will take good care of haagen -Dazs. Yeah, make sure to, to let me ride on uh, Fly. I will definitely try that out. Uh, Geo, what is the other story? Uh, what do we do? Is it more battling and stuff? Do I need to... Am I fighting Nimona and all that stuff? Because I think I saw a sprite of her where I battle her in the DLC. Oh wait, we need to figure out what the heck Petra Runt is. I totally forgot about Petra Runt. I just now remembered that Pokemon. Yeah, so we do have an entire stream. Uh, one more stream's worth of Pokemans. And we're at the three hour mark, so... Mm. Yeah, I guess we can leave... Leave the, um, uh, leave the Pokemon uh, here for now. And yeah, but I still do want to stream, so I don't know what else I'd want to stream right now. I guess we can try to stream. Oh wait, DMCA? Oh no. There we go. No more DMCA. Well, I guess I've let it play for too long, so now I'm probably going to get copyright struck anyways. Near? Well, I want to start Near as its own thing. Uh, not being at the end, like, combined with any other stream. So once I'm done with Pokemon, I want to start Nier as its own dedicated stream. I think we can play a little bit of Halo Infinite. I haven't gotten this week's mission yet. So we can try to do that. I think I just need to win two more matches and then get a... Uh, throw a sticky grenade on somebody. So we can do that for the rest of the stream. Yeah, actually, let me try and do that. What, sword? What's up? What's with the ellipses? Did I miss everything? Uh, we still have one more Pokemon stream, but this is around the three hour mark, which means I'm kind of wrapping it up. I am going to stream for a little bit longer, though. We'll play some Halo Infinite. I just got to get my PlayStation controller. PS4 controller or PS5 controller. Uh, to play a Microsoft game. A blasphemous. Yeah, we're just haloing and chilling now. But yeah. Well, I mean, that's more reason to watch the VOD, though. We've got three hours worth of Pokemon to hang out with, or to check out. Oh, you're finally redesigning... Uh, you're finally finding a good design for your robot OC. Nice, nice. At least you made it for the chill part. That is true, yeah. It's all super chill now and not freaking out about how... how to fight all these dang Pokemans. Ooh. Uh... There we go. And we got some more, more cutscene. Is 
This is an announcement. Oh, wait, let me turn the audio back on. For the following student, Mako from Uva Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in class 1 4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. I guess we'll check out what she has to say first before we go into Halo Infinite. Hey Mako, glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the Underdepths? Oh, youth really isn't an en enviable thing. I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Giga's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit names of those involved. So, voila! A proof copy of the book, freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. Sick. Nice. I behave recklessly in the underdepths. I don't know what we, uh, what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Ah, but there was something else I needed to check with you. Would you mind showing me your Terra Orb, Mako? Hmm, I thought just... I thought as much. Behaving just like Kieran and Carmen's orbs. I think I'm, it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terra Pagos. Kieran and Carmen say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokémon without charging their Terra Orbs. Oh, sick. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to the depth, uh, deepest depths. You know the ter uh, terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the underdepths of that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they all have the Stella ter uh, Terra type. Thanks to this, my research in the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Uh, stellar type terrestrialization grants a Bruce moves, but only one spurt move type. After you use a move, no other moves of that same type will get a boost. In Terra Raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Oh, and that was... There was one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by in the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report to uh, report for now. Thanks for sending along some, side, some time to chat. I'll have to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Let's go save the game. Actually, can we visit Carmen's room? Oh, there's no... Is she gonna be in there? Can we, like, uh, have a little chat? No? Okay, we'll just sniff her sheets for a little bit. All right, and we will end that off, end off the Pokemoning. Yeah, I had my last day of college before spring yesterday and had to wait six hours between my first and third classes because my second class felt like canceling. Oh man, that must have sucked. But A, your last uh, day of college before spring break, you're now on spring break, how is it? Spending your break well by watching me All right, let's go play some Halo Infinite. Let's go at open up theme, theme liner. Very low oh, infinite. I, I at least got to explore around town and check out a local hobby shop. Nice. 
Spend $330. Oh, my goodness. Why isn't it capturing game capture? Capture this. No, capture this. There we go. Well, what did you get at this hobby shop? Did you get some Gundams? Did you get some... Did you get some... Uh, I don't know. What do you get at hobby shops? Besides Gundams and comic books and trading cards. Oh, I entered the Gunpla section and the perfect grade unreleased was calling my name. Oh, that is a good purchase. I've always... Okay, so I've been building Gundams for now 11 years. And I've never built a perfect raid. I want to get my hands on the perfect raid. Uh, RX-78-2 Unleashed. Yeah, I want to get the RX-78-2 perfect, or uh, the Unleashed. Or I want to get the, the Master Grade, or not the Master Grade, the Perfect Grade Astray. I want one of the two. I have a perfect grade in my closet for the day I become ready to tackle it. That day will soon come. One day. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, we just need two wins. And then once we get two wins, then we can do the challenge that's just land a sticky grenade on somebody. It was 295. I also bought some plastic cement and mark fix or mark fit. Nice. They actually had the perfect grade astray there too, and three perfect grade unicorns for some reason. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, there is one perfect grade that I want above all else, and I want is the green perfect grade astray, which is. The 7-Eleven colors, I really want that one, because it's not just green, it's, raid. it looks like it's Baja Blast colored. Like, I really want that, because it's like metallic uh, a little bit and kind of sparkly. It's got that, like, pearl, pearl injection, like, look to it. So I really want the 7-Eleven one, but the 7-Eleven uh, Astray is like freaking. it's so expensive. And just let me know if the sound is too loud. Wow, this team is not doing anything. Like the opposing team, I mean. It'd be easy to get a win out of this. I say, but I'll probably die. Come on. Throw out this. Okay. Are you a fan of the Russian Badgers videos? I do. I do like his videos. I haven't seen a whole lot, but I do love his shorts. And I really want to learn how he animates. Like, I want to get the exact type of mocap suit that he has, and I want to do similar stuff. Oh no. Gotta get that guy. There we go. They should make a 7-Eleven version of every perfect raid. Ooh, if they made a 7-Eleven version of the Gundam Mark II, either the Gundam Mark II or maybe the Exia, that would be really neat. Although, I am waiting for... Let's see. They released the Master Grade, or the Perfect Grade Exia. So that means their next perfect grade. Wait, is there a perfect grade double double O riser? 
Because if so, or if there isn't, then we definitely need a perfect grade of that before we get a perfect grade of of a Barbatos. I would like a perfect grade Barbatos, or I would like a perfect grade G self. Because I really like the G self. Oh, actually, no. I want to get a perfect grade turn A Gundam. That's what I want to be the next perfect grade. Especially because Sid Mead, the mechanical designer, who also did the mechanical design of... He did the mechanical design of Blade Runner. And I think he is like the only non-Japanese person to ever design a Gundam. But considering that he passed away, unfortunately, in I believe 2019, uh, I would like them to have the next perfect grade be the turn A Gundam as like a, like a little nod to him. Uh, honor his legacy. Oh, maybe turn the sound down a bit and it'll be golden? Okay. Let me turn it to negative 15. Whoops. Negative 15 decibels. There we go. How is the sound uh, now? Or I guess... There we go. Oh, got a rocket user on the other side. Ooh, and killed him. Oh, jeez. I was about to get a real great Gundam wing, but I couldn't afford it at this time. I'm very, like, I want a real grade Gundam wing as well, but I'm afraid of it because it's a first generation uh, real grade. So it has, like, the really crappy uh, pre made frame, and I really don't like that. Well, fun fact. Uh, for those of you who don't follow Gunpla, what's it? There was new Gunpla news today. So if you ever wanted to try getting into real grades, they now have a real grade 2.0 RX-78 II, which I think is way... Like, I'm I'm gonna buy that. Absolutely. I've already pre-ordered it on Hobby Link Japan. But yeah, I've been wanting a real grade Gundam. Like, I have a real grade uh, Zeong, but, you know, I want an actual real grade Gundam Gundam. Not just a mobile suit. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait until that, because they have the freaking, uh, what's it? You now build the inner frame instead of just having a stinking inner frame. So good. And it looks just like the perfect rate unleashed. So I cannot wait for that. Are you serious? Come on, team. What the frick? Our flag is, like, right there. Or their flag is right there. Come on, pick up the flag. Okay. Uh, these fools. Oh, no. Can we not pick it up, throw it down? Ooh, and got one kill. Nice. But I don't have any more ammo. Give me the bandit. No, want this. There we go. Just get our flag, bro. Guess I'll just stay here and fire off. The flag is ours. We must secure it. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Okay, that is not good. Not good. No, gotta pick up. Okay. No. Wait, we can aim this. 
down. Like that, so we can get the bullet to five minutes uh not ricocheting. What's it? Bounce. I'll be taking a small nap today to small nap. Happy to come to stream today. Oh yeah. Thanks for coming by, uh Kaijuzilla. Have a good nap. Oh jeez. Oh my god, get the flag and score. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, and I have an OP weapon. Yep, that's how it's done. Cool, cool. Anything good? No good weapons here. Eh, I think I've got a pretty good set. Oh, geez. Okay, got one kill. All right, we just need to... I just need to hold down the fort for like three minutes and then we'll win this game. I want the commando. Ooh, that's a nice color commando. You know how long it takes for HLJ to notify you about a pre-order? I got pre-ordered Narrative Stein and I was... was wondering. Like, how long it takes for them to, like, once the pre-order gets into your warehouse, like, how long it takes for them to email you? I think it's pretty instantaneous. Because usually on their pre-order dates, like, they're very good with pre-order dates. So, like, if you go to the toy listing or whatever listing for whatever item and it says, hey, it's coming out on this day, you'll usually get an email on that day or maybe a day earlier. That's how it is for all the stuff I've bought from Hobby Link Japan. The only things that I've bought from Hobby Link Japan that have had pushed dates are stuff by, uh, I think it's Wave. Because I had bought the the nipper set where it has the change out cutter blade, and I remember buying those, but the pre-order date got like pushed or the release date got pushed back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once you have the email that says, "Hey, something has arrived in your uh, warehouse," then you can immediately just ship it out at that point. One more win, and then we can go into the crazy, craziness of trying to stick somebody with a sticky grenade. I don't even know what's a good map for that. It's gonna be really hard to do that. Oh yeah, everybody, let's do a shrimp check and a hydration check. And also, for the people who are still here, who... Oh, thank you, um, uh, Funky Fjord, for the YouTube sub. But, uh, who... Who here still was from the Nia Suzune raid at the beginning of the stream? Because I need to know, which Mako... Is there another Mako VTuber? Uh, that I need to know about? Let, let me see. Uh... Mako Prism Project? Who is this? Oh, uh, Mako Samishima. Alright, I will give her a sub. Husky Raid. Waiting for all my games to update on my Steam Deck. Ooh, nice, nice. What games do you got that you're waiting for?
still not completely on the Steam Deck train. Like, I definitely have enough to get a Steam Deck, but I just, I don't really feel the need to have one. You feel? I'm pretty comfortable with my... I mean, it's probably because I definitely have a top-end PC. And I don't feel the need to have a Steam Deck. There we go. So, drop some nades. Let's see, yeah, because if I had a Steam Deck, I would probably just be playing... Muse Dash. Well, Muse Dash is like an internet game, so I need to be connected to the internet for that, I think. If not, then yeah, it would just be Muse Dash, which I already have on Switch. And then it would be maybe Elden Ring. I don't know. Even though I don't like Elden Ring, I'd probably just play it intermittently. Just to see if I can get into it. Let's see. I'll probably be playing Horizon Zero Dawn as well. I don't know. Not a whole lot of stuff I would be playing. Well, that is if those games are compatible with this new deck. Oh yeah, Armored Core 6. That would be a good Steam Deck game. Uh, oh, no. Man, I thread the needle between two guys. Are you kidding me? God, what a freaking idiot. Jeez, this game doesn't have friendly fire, but you can still push around your teammates. There's the logic in that. It's like, if I'm gonna be able to get pushed around with a freaking uh, thing... And you might as well just enable team kill. Let me get this one. And oh man, this is gonna be like a hard draw. Oh jeez. Yep, and now he's afraid. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and to kill from the grave. I didn't even realize that. Oh geez, rockets, or not rockets, sword guy. All right, they're really pushing forward, and we're—I am not getting good weapons. About, watch out! Ooh, okay, Here we go. Damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I actually know how to use this weapon. Nope, okay. I can't do downward angles, though. If it's on, like, an incline, then I can definitely hit. Like that. Exactly like that. Or like this. The cinder shot is just like is like my weapon. I just know how to use it. And now I'm out of ammo. No, I will take that though. Okay, at least I got a hit for that. Swap this out. Whoops. No, I was so close. This is the drawest of all draws. Nobody's making any movement. Or never mind. 
the hell? Wait, what? You can go out here? Wow, I did not know that. Who the heck? What? How is that even possible? Yep. Okay, you just need one more. Or, like, one point above the other team. Oh god. No! Damn it. Yeah, how do you... Okay, I assume you just need... The grapple shot. I assume that's what it is, but how the frick? There we go. Hush. Great. Damn it! Oh, okay. Die. Really? I've been shooting you. How? 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 Die. Enemy captured your flag. Oh my god. Frickin... Isn't it great when the Needler, like, works when it's in the enemy team's hands, but when it's in your hands, it just doesn't work? You can do the same thing. And... I just need one... Just one more win. And then I could stop playing like I care. How do you not hear that there's so many hammers? Hammer bashings. How the frick? Who's got the... Got the evade. Nobody's got evade. Because evade is like the OP weapon or armor ability to have. When you're doing the flag run. There we go. Die. Man. Okay, definitely have to get the evade back. I've got a good I've got a good weapon. I think. No. Okay, hopefully I don't squander this rocket. Which means I will. Die. You also die. Double kill. Now they have my rocket. So hopefully I get a repulsor blast. I did not get a repulsor blast. Let me get... Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks for that one.
Are you kidding me? Pick this up. Alright, at least it's one to one. Okay, and I've got evade. So, do I have any options for melee? No melee weapons. Right. Die. What? Gravity hammer got another one minute remaining. What? Where did my oh, there's my battle rifle. Oh god, not this weapon. Okay, I think I finally learned how to freaking use this weapon. And another one. Not able to get that guy. Over He's time. over in here. What? Initiating loading. Right, there we go. And how about let's hit them with one of these? Thruster. God. Man, are they really gonna score after this 15 minute long match? No. Ugh, man. Okay. You've got to be freaking kidding me. An ally took their flag. Enemy flag returned. Oh my god. I know I shouldn't quit because it's just one minute later, but... Okay, now I'm not messing around with the frickin' hammer. Ooh, and the evade. Okay. Die. There we go. Die. I'll take this. And nobody was behind me when I did that. You love teamwork. There we go. No scope. So happy I got that no scope. Ooh, and that one as well.
Oh man, I was hoping to get that one as well. Air and got that one too. Uh, at least we made it to. At least it wasn't a loss. That's all I can. That's all I can. Uh, what's it? Hope for. All right, just need, yeah, we still need just one, just one win. That's all I need. Ugh. Okay, I guess, what can we look for? What can we look at while the thing's loading up? I don't know, let's go look at the stupid, at the stupid shop. What's in the shop right now? Let's see, we've got bisexual skin. Uh, weapon skin. That's kind of cool. If only it wasn't $14. Ooh, I actually like this color. It's very 90s paper cup. I like that. $18 for all of this. 18 real world dollars. Gosh, I hate, I hate modern day microtransactions. Did you guys, speaking of modern day microtransactions, do you think, uh, what's it? Do you think the creator of Diablo, or not Diablo, uh, Morrowind horse armor, do you think he's like the, the Oppenheimer of microtransactions? Like he regrets that he ever made horse armor because have you guys seen the egregious monetization of dragon's dogma 2 you need to pay two dollars two real life dollars to change the look of your character in a single player game how awful is that and also you need to pay what is it five dollars to unlock um, fast travel in that game? That is awful. What has this world come to? My oh, Jesus. Also, I finally know how to freaking use this weapon. Maybe not consistently, but... Uh, do you think it's worth it to top coat Gundam? Uh, yeah, if you have the space and the time, uh, I'd say it's 100% worth it. Yeah, I just haven't been top coating my Gundam, mostly because I just don't have the weather for it right now. It's a bit too cold. And I like to, I like to do top coatings in the summer just because it dries faster. But I mean, you can top your, uh, in top coat Gundam in the wintertime and spring as well. Just make sure to leave it in the garage so you don't uh, inhale the fumes and all that stuff. Or leave it outside in a box. Or whatever. Ooh. Let me get that. No. No, damn it. Okay, where are these guys? Uh, but yeah, Dragon's Dogma. The character creator looks fun. Too bad that I'm never gonna buy the game. Frick Capcom for that. For real. Where is this dude? He's somewhere. There you are. I bought water slides for my perfect grade unicorn. 
that what it is? But the debating on whether or not to top coat it. If you have water slides, it's best to top coat it just because it seals the top coat or it seals the water slide in place. So yeah, if you top coat, you might as well, or if you water slide, you might as well just top coat. Also, damn, $300 and no water slides? That's crazy. Every perfect raid should have should just come with water slides. Fun fact, I've never water slided anything before. I have water slides. I have just never actually used water slides before. Oh no. But yeah, I have a water slide set for my real grade uh, Xeon, but I just haven't used them yet. Also, this weapon is so bad. Why do they keep the Ravager in this game? The fact that it bounces is like the worst thing ever. Can't even account for the frickin' bounces. I left to go get food and I didn't. Oh my gosh. Oh you. They got the rocket launcher. This is going to be another a tie of all time. It better not be. Oh wait, maybe I can do... Yeah, I can do this. And then... Whoops, how about... Die. And... No perfect raid comes with water slides for some reason, and I wonder why. That is strange. I thought they all did. Okay, and let me get... Nope, don't need... That. Oh, jeez, the stupid... Stupid whatsmacallit needler. Hate this thing. You'd think I'd like it because it's purple, but nah. It's very annoying. It's iconic, sure, but I hate the weapon. I feel like they made it so inconsistent in this game. I feel like in every other game it worked perfectly fine, but Infinite just ruined it. Jeez, now they got a bunch of frickin' cinder shots. But yeah, so for those of you who have used water slides, uh, what's it? How do you use them? So, do you need hot water, or do you just need, like, lukewarm water to dissolve them in? And then you slide them on. Because I've never... I never learned what temperature water I needed. So that's why I've been afraid of, like, ruining them. And that's why I've never put one on. Something weapon balance, probably. If only other weapons in this game weren't awful and terrible. Warm water? Okay. Well, this guy's got a freaking grab hammer. Brought one of these. What? Oh, Bandai's one uh, needs warm water specifically. Okay. But it's warm water, not hot water, correct? Alright, so I'll just boil some water in my electric kettle and just leave it out for like a couple minutes. Yeah, give me that. Oh, 
Uh, I need to figure out what my water slides are, because I think I have a third party set of water slides uh, for my real grade Zeong. These I like. Oh yeah, what are your guys' opinions on dry transfers? Because I hate dry transfers. They're very easy to put on, but I think they're just way too flaky. You like if you have dry transfers, you absolutely need to. Uh, put top coat on your Gundams. Actually, put two layers of top coat on it. Wow, I sure do love spawn camping. Yeah, I know the Master Grade Gundam Age 1, or all of the Master Grade Gundam Ages, uh, have dry transfers, and they were not fun because. Uh, what's it? You'd put them on, and then you'd accidentally slip, and the dry transfer would just break in half. And it was not fun. Or they would... Because it's... The material it kind of feels like, you know, scratch card material. So if you, like, accidentally rubbed the part that had a dry transfer, it would just flake off very easily. But the thing is, is that I don't think it would have helped to sand the area because there is nothing really, there's no glue to really set in to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. So you really need to just put it on to un, un, like bare, like just bare plastic. Like unedited plastic. So yeah, if you have dry transfers, then you really just need to double top coat it. Raid. This map should be a lot better. Come on, we just need one win. I do like how bold that Spartan looks. It's very... Uh, there's one shooter that came out in the 2000s that's super forgettable and that looks like that. That looks like that Spartan. What is it like? I forget what it was, what it was called, even. Oh man! Damn it! Oh, this is just a regular sniper rifle too. Okay, so we got the good one. Oh god! And okay, I hate this weapon too. I hate the Hydra so much. It's a weapon that takes stupidly long to re. To reload. It's so hard to get kills with this thing. What's going on with my screen? Oh god. Oh man, why is my stream like five frames per second? That's the that's the new uh, sequel to five centimeters per second. Did you know that 5 centimeters per second is called 5 centimeters per second because that's the speed at which uh, cherry blossom leaves fall? One of the Spartans low-key looked like from Helldiver. Yeah, that was, that was probably the yellow one. What kind of rocket was that? You have to aim the rocket at the floor. Wow, and my team disappointed me. They disappoint me yet again. Oh god. Nope. Nope. Gotta get out of the way for that. out. Come on, kill. Yeah, let's swap out for this one. Oh, one of these. There we go. 
Probably shouldn't have reloaded at that time. Yeah, you need to die. Eight out. Throw another one. Get out of here. Definitely look into getting top coat in that case. I'll just try to. I should get gloss, semi gloss, or matte. Hmm. I don't know. I used to know what good combinations there were. I think if all else fails, I think I would do a coat of matte and then a coat of gloss. I think that's what I would used to do when I was customizing Gunpla. Or if I wanted like a specific look. I remember there was this one look that I did. It was for my Master Grade uh, Gundam Age. Is that what I did is that I I uh, top coated it with matte. And then after I top coated it, I did panel lining with a mechanical pencil. And then after that, then I top coated it with matte a second time. So it gave it a really neat looking like sketch sort of look. If you wanted to go that route, just do two coats of matte finish. What a fool. One, just let me do that. Thank you. Oh god. Now they know where I am. Oh god. Nope. Thank you for the heals. Die. Also die. Die. Damn it. Where'd that rocket go? What the heck? Okay, I've got the heat wave. Yeah, we definitely need to recollect. Okay, now we're all good. What the heck? I cold that temp for water slide just in case, and then first response is I usually dip mine in a pot while the water's boiling. Oh my gosh. And now they've got rockets on their side. Oh, this wasn't a commando. I thought it was a commando. But I was treating it like a bandit. I mean, it, it was a bandit. I was treating it like a commando. Really? I don't have time for this. How about, let's just not do Husky Raid anymore. Let's just do Quick Play. I can do better in Quick Play than I can in Husky Raid. Husky Raid is too random for me. Yeah, hopefully I'm not boring you guys too much with Halo Infinite. Especially since I'm doing worse than I usually do right now. I hope that's okay. I think Ultra Kill is going to make you better at Halo, low-key. Fun fact, I did buy Ultra Kill. I actually bought it. So now I can play it... In the future. Ooh, I don't think I've... What is this map? Okay, great, Halo Infinite. Thanks. Thanks for not letting me see more of the map. Oh, what an ugly armor core that is. Wow, I'm full of a... I'm a full team of Chimera armor cores. Disgusting. Oh, this one is 
Is this illusion? No, this is not illusion. There we go. Got that kill. Right, double kill. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got that guy. Nice. Yeah, I guess I should use this time to practice throwing sticky grenades. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I think we'll just be in this game mode because all I need to do is just land a sticky grenade kill. How in the frick? Man. Take a shot every time I say that. Where did this guy go? You fool. We're right here. Sniper right there. Okay, they're coming around this way. Ooh, I guess I could take this. Yeah, don't you love how this game has been out for how many years? And we still don't have weapon skins for Covenant and Forerunner weapons. I just want this weapon in orange to match everything else. I actually like this weapon. Holy crap, there's a lot of you guys over here. What? Yeah, honestly, I shouldn't even be playing this game because this game really sucks. But it's fun to play. Sometimes. The fact that, like... Honestly, on the Halo subreddit, somebody posted a text post just saying, Hey, Halo community, do you guys have hope for this franchise? And I was like, no. No, not at all. This franchise is freaking dead. I have no hope in Halo coming back. I think Infinite is like the last game I'll ever play of Halo. I think this game is totally done for. Microsoft just doesn't know how to treat this game. You gamer moment of this game sucks keeps playing. But yeah, I just think, I honestly think this franchise is dead, which is why I really want to play Helldivers. Because it seems like the Helldivers team, like they really like Halo and they just made a Halo game that's not Halo, which is what I really like. I really like the fact that Helldivers just feels like Halo 3, ODST, the firefight mode. And that's it. That's the entire game is just firefight. Because I loved firefight. That's what got me into Halo was actually just... Because my first Halo game that I owned myself was Halo 3, ODST. And I played the heck out of it. Where? Yeah, definitely get out of here. Oh, Jesus. It's free to play, that's why. I know, I just... Yeah, the fact that the multiplayer is free to play is so stupid. I anything about Halo, first Halo game, and then Halo Infinite came out in 20... Uh, frickin' five years. Halo Infinite came out at a time when Battlefield and Call of Duty had horrible launches. So Halo had the chance to become number one uh, shooter for a little bit. And for like a day or two, it did. It was number one shooter. But it launched so horribly. Oh, I don't know what didn't launch horribly. It was the shop. The shop had everything in it. 
and it wasn't compromised at all. And yeah, like this game had really bad rubber banding, aka desync, and that's what killed everything for Halo. And but they kept updating the shop. They never stopped updating the shop. So it's really disappointing that they had a chance to rake in all the people who were burned by Call of Duty and Battlefield. But they just chose not to do it. Yeah, Microsoft, I really hope hiring contractors and not actual employees really helped this game out. Great money-saving tactic. I sure hope that saved a lot of people from getting fired from the layoffs. Spoilers, it didn't. These American video game uh, development is just so... Is so destroyed. And like... I hate it when people shut down other people for saying that the games industry is like at its worst moment. Because in some areas, you know, okay, I, I can see that the video games industry... Yes, it's at its best when it comes to making games and for indie games, but just AAA games are just not where it, where they're supposed to be. Yo, what's up, Hero Computador? How's it going? I just saw your comment. Sorry. But yeah. And I thought Japanese developers had their stuff together, but with Dragon's Dogma monetizing single-player games... That's just awful. Like, I think AAA games as a whole, they're just completely dead. I have no hope of the games industry coming back. We all just have to play indie games now. Ah, oh, jeez, Sword, don't remind me that it can always dig deeper. I don't want to think about that. Oh, Jobby the Hong is streaming, if you know who he is. I've never watched a Jobby the Hong stream. Honestly, I don't find the streams to be my cup of tea. When I watch toy reviews, I mainly just watch... I, I don't like to watch the recording process. I'm just very much into... Just let me know something about the figure. You know? So I like Jobby the Hong's videos. I don't like his streams. Or rather to say, they're just not for me. If he's streaming like gaming or something, uh, then sure, I'll watch that. But if it's just unboxing and stuff, it's like I, I'm not really into it. But he's a good content creator. I really like his stuff. Or actually, I would watch Few do a stream. Because I really like him. I used to be a big Jobby the Hong fan, but now I'm just a few Adams person. There's a point where you watch enough Jobby the Hong videos where I'm I'm just not into the whole innuendos everywhere and all that stuff. Oh, he's building Gunpla right now. Is the Gunpla ghost uh, making an appearance in the stream? But yeah, what is he making? Is he building an actual Gundam or is he building like a Yolo Park model kit or a Flame Toys model kit or is it actually Gundam Gundam? Oh wait, I've got a sticky grenade. I just need to land one sticky grenade on somebody and then I can get the achievement. And I got it. Nice, I got this week's uh, challenge done. And now I can finish this game and end stream. Oops. Ooh, the real grade Epion. I didn't even know the real grade. There was a real grade Epion. That's neat. I'm not a big fan of the of. I was gonna say I'm not a big fan of the Epion, but I'm really just not a fan of transforming Gundams in general. Because I don't think Bandai knows how to make good transformations. They're all super fiddly. 
And you'd think I'd like the Epion, considering that it's a freaking Hydra, and Hydras are my favorite type of dragon. Painful lesson. Deployed. But yeah. Oh, where'd the Spartan go? Up here. Hello. Die. Making the covenant. Proud. Oh. Up the shields. Somebody's above me. No. But yeah, transforming Gundams, they do not work. Uh, I think the one transforming Gundam I actually really want is the high-grade Gundam Tryon, which is essentially a, a freaking Voltron. Because it's a, it's a lion and a bird and a something that combine together to make a super robot. And it's made out of the Gundam Double Zeta uh, as the base kit, which is really cool. But yeah, I think I missed out on it. I don't think they've reprinted the Tryon in a while. No more hiding. But I really want it. I think they've reprinted the Tryon, the black Tryon, but I actually don't like that. I like seeing that each animal is its own color. And just having the black Tryon, it's like, what's the point? You can't even tell it's like three different creatures or three different robots. And when it comes to transformation, the only gimmick that I really like that's technically a transformation is the Gundam is the Gundam Ariel where it has the shield that transforms into armor for the Gundam. I really like that. I want more Gundams with that. Well, hello. Oh wait, got invisibility. I will take that. Oh, wait, that's not invisibility. That's the frickin'... That's the teleport thing. Hello. There we go. That and this. Power items incoming. Yeah, that's kind of useful, I think. Oh, okay, they dropped the sword. Nice. Oh god. Nope. Oh, I gotta reload. No! Oh, I thought I had the sidekick on me. I thought the Unicorn Gundam transformation was pretty good. Yeah, it's an okay transformation. I would rather just have a model kit just as the destroy mode, though. Although, I, I'm i on the Gunpla subreddit. And I keep seeing people snap in half the real grade Unicorn Gundam's arms. And it's like, I hear that transformation is pretty cool, but it's still uh, super fragile. So it's like, so you'd think getting the Master Grade would be better, but the Master Grade, I've heard the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam is really crap as well. So I think your only option for a good transforming... Unicorn Gundam is just the perfect grade, which I do want. Well, not the perfect grade Unicorn Gundam itself. I really want a, a perfect grade Banshee Gundam. And I want it to have the Episode 4 uh, arsenal, so it has the vibrating nail and the railgun on the arm. I really want that. It just sucks that that is not the mass retail version of the model kit. You have to buy the episode 4 stuff separately. Which I think is really stupid. Because the base model kit for the Unicorn Gundam, or sorry, the Banshee Gundam Power is, incoming. it's the Banshee Norn. So it has the big shield from episode 7. Um, that's what I find really annoying about it. Oh yeah, the Master Grade Extreme 
Unicorn Gundam is also an option. I've not watched a review of it. I've only ever heard that the wiring is very fragile, so it's prone to breaking on that front, which is very unfortunate. How is it that every single Unicorn Gundam is just kind of bad? Even when, because I used to actually have a Unicorn Mode Unicorn Gundam, and that was just a high grade. And I remember the legs being too complicated and actually like super bored me and exhausted me just building one leg of it. Oh yeah, there just hasn't been a Unicorn Gundam that's fun to build. Which is why I also want to get the, the cross silhouette. Because I'm so sad that Cross Silhouette isn't a thing anymore, or at least not as much as it used to be. Bandai just really dropped the ball on Cross Silhouette. I wish they would support it more. At least we got a Cross Silhouette Banshee Gundam back in July. But again, that was July, and that was a long time ago. Well, I mean, it's only half a year ago, but long time ago in internet terms. And what's crazy is that they're having a cross silhouette Calabarn Gundam. And I'm just thinking, wait, you're doing a cross silhouette Calabarn, but not a cross silhouette Aerial Gundam. And the Aerial Gundam got the EX standard SD Gundams. The uh, X standard, uh, the what's it? The EX standard cross, or I'm getting all my lines mixed up. The EX standard SD Gundams are so bad. Why not just make why why not just make a cross silhouette aerial to begin with? Why make it just the aerial? I don't understand. At least the unicorn gundam made RG kits actually good. Did it though? I'm pretty sure the kits that started making real grades actually good were the Sazabi and the new Gundam. Because those ones I heard were like must-buys if you're into Gundams. And I really want to get the the Sazabi. Oh yeah, what did I get for doing this week's challenge? I think I got an armor coating. It's so stupid that once you complete a challenge, it doesn't tell you what item that you got. Yeah, I think it's an armor. It's an armor coating. Yeah, I think this is the armor coating. Yeah, Fragmentum Glow. It's a cool armor coating. Not one I'm gonna wear. But it looks neat. Yeah, looks looks okay. Oh, but the unicorn Gundam was a stepping stone towards that. I see, I see. I I'm I get you now. Oh, it was the first one that didn't have the full frame as an MS joint. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I think the only real grade model kit that I want that has a full frame is probably the Zagok. Because I think that one's the most unique one to have a full frame of. And plus, I just want a good Zagok because I want the master grade, but I think I think we really need a high grade 2.0 of the Zagok. Because that thing's just a big dumpy little crab thing. And it's so, like, you you make that model kit, it feels like it's made out of $3 worth of plastic. Like, it's so fiddly. I hate that model kit so much. And that, it makes sense because that model kit was designed in, like, 2001, and it's still in production to this day. I don't understand. Why? Why don't they just remake it? It's such a silly Gundam, and I want it on my desk. I want a little Zogok on my desk. 
uh, but they refused to make uh, a new high-grade version. And I think it would do it very well to have a high-grade in the same standard as the new the new Zaku 2, uh, the green Zaku 2, and the Char Zaku 2. It's not a revive in name, but it is very much a 2.0. An RG Forbidden Gundam. Forbidden Gundam, that's the one with the big dish on its back, right? From Gundam Seed? Is that the one? I can't remember. I, I guess I'll just put my... I'll put my body... Uh, put my body in the middle of the screen because we're talking. We're just chilling out and zatsudaning right now. But yeah, talking Gundams and stuff. Actually, let me put myself behind. There we go. Now it looks like we're actually talking. So yeah, I think actually, oh my gosh, we've been playing Halo for an hour. Good Lord. But yeah, Gundams, Gundams. I still need to build the full mechanics aerial on stream. I actually have a Master Grade Zaku 2 I need to build. I have a Master Grade Act Guy I need to build on stream. Or maybe I'll build, I don't know. I think I might build one of the Gundams while I'm at SakuraCon. Oh yeah, wait, I need to end off the stream showing off uh, SakuraCon stuff. Let me grab a little advert. I think I retweeted it, actually. Did I not retweet it? I must have been on Blue Sky that I did. Oh no, I retweeted it. Let me retweet it again. Here, let me go save image. Now let's add the image on screen. Go add this. Downloads. Oh, whoops. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Here we go. So this is the event that I'm going to, SakuraCon with Gioya. I was with uh, Gioya last time we went to a convention. I'm just helping out. And... What's it? Yeah. Just helping out and got special prints. I've got stickers or rather a sticker design. And yeah, you can catch us right there uh, March 29th through April 1st. So it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be a uh, SakuraCon is in Seattle, Washington. So if you're in the area, come on by. And our booth is going to be number 3822. And we'll be on the second floor of the Artist Alley. Oh, yeah, I I look like a news a newscaster. Yeah, this just in. Go to this con and get some cool merch. So yeah. Uh, there's an exclusive spicy print. Uh while you're there. Very low quantity. I think we only printed off like five. So yeah, if you're there, uh do go and grab yourself one of those. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the announcement. But, yeah, it's retweeted on Twitter. And I'll retweet it on Blue Sky as well. But, yeah, I hope to see you all there next week. And, yeah, I probably won't have a stream next week. I might stream on Monday the 25th. That's a hard might. Very hard might. Uh, I might use that day to just prep for the con, but yeah. So look out for that. Come see me at, at the convention if you can. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for today's stream. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for stopping by, especially those who have were coming from... Uh, from freaking the raid at the beginning of the stream. Uh, super shout out to you guys. 
So yeah, thank you to all you Nia Susan A fans. And I will see you guys uh, at SakuraCon. And then I will announce, I'll see where, what my next stream will be. But yeah, anyways, bye, bye everyone, bye.